Fine. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, woo! After a very long time uh, off of the main campaign, we did have our one shot uh, two weeks ago. Uh, two weeks ago? Yeah, two weeks ago. Uh, but it's been like a month since we've had our main campaign session. And here we are. Thank you very much. Was that your first time seeing it, Hughes? Uh, I know it did, it did change. Hughes is back. We've missed you. Uh, we have, I, at least I've noticed your absence. Um, it's lovely to have you around again. Uh, hey, the timer's working. Uh-oh. Uh, I need to turn it on. Timer worked, but I forgot to turn on the giveaway. Oh. Open giveaway. <laughs> kind of important that that happens. Uh, so the entire session, we are working to give away a Tail Spire key. Uh, you have to be a follower. You have to be around at the end of the stream when we do the drawing to win. Because you have to, you know, shout out and claim your prize. Um, and then I will whisper you a Steam key. But uh, we are officially doing... Uh, Tailspire key giveaway giveaways again. We have six to give away. We will be giving away one per session for the next six sessions. So, hey. in our normal uh, uh, play frequency, that should last us a good six months. I know, right? Tails. Um, so, Tailspire <laughs> is a 3D virtual tabletop with a focus on keeping the feel of a physical table. Uh, you can find more information on Tailspire.com or if you just watch the session. You'll see us using it. Because we use it for our main table, t our main virtual tabletop. Uh, it's kind of the background that's around us right now. Um, but uh, here, when we actually get into game, uh, we I will be switching to a Tailspire view for gameplay when it's uh, pertinent. So um, I don't think we have any announcements. I, did, I kind of forgot to double check that everyone's still good next Sunday uh, before we started, but I assume so because no one said anything. Uh, <laughs> so uh no no immediate announcements that need taken care of other than that we're back and we got the giveaways going uh new you, emojis yeah we oh that's right we did get new emojis uh if you yeah, cheer yeah, using yeah. bits uh you can unlock um three new emojis done by uh caroline uh we got a uh, jarlax will smirk and then a mug left and a mug right emote um <laughs> And of course, if you're brand new here, uh, you can easily catch all of our past VODs on YouTube. So, uh, let us get into recap. Um, also, oh. Tailspire is in early access now. Oh yeah! I don't know if you, you didn't mention that. <laughs> we mentioned it, we mentioned that it was happening. Forgot about that, yeah. yeah. We mentioned it was happening at the one shot. But yeah, Tailspire is officially in early access, so you could actually just go buy it. You, you, you're free to enter the giveaway and win a key, but if you just want to spend 25 bucks and have it, you can do cool. that now. Hey, thank you for the resub there, Spartan Celestia. Greatly appreciate it. Oh, nice to see you. Okay, is it recap time? It's recap time. Oh, what's our inspiration? Um. Oh, <laughs> that's what I forgot, the inspiration tracker. Hmm. I'll do that while you I mean, recap. I can take care of it. I'll just give us all. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Last time, Ragnar caught shit on fire. He did. Um, whew, okay. Uh, Last time on Out of Alignment, uh, we woke back up in the Willow Wood. Um, <clears throat> or we were back at the tower. Uh, with the, we fixed the clock, we had the day cycle start going, um, we decided to keep poking around, uh, Brock, uh, went to the dragon and, uh, collected a couple of vials of dragon's blood, uh, and none of us did well enough on our intelligence checks to remember quite what it does, but just maybe don't drink it, um, we'll drink it, <laughs> just but totally don't. drink it, <laughs> just, just maybe don't. Um, so we're holding on to that. Um, we made our way into the, uh, the, the sectioned off kind of cave. Um, it was like closed by a big grate, uh, that Willow had tasked us with. Um, so we were like, you know what, let's just go over there and find out what's in there anyway. And we find these weird, like, flying stingray bat sort of things. Cloakers, we didn't know that. Um... 
we see them sleeping, we decide not to bother them, we go further in, and one comes up that is also at a second grate, and uh, Truth uh, starts talking to him, as he's the only one who speaks under common. Um, and Ragnar is just kind of sitting there translating, because at least he understands it. Um, they convinced Truth, but not Ragnar, uh, that they had always been here, um, that the Archruid Willow had come in and displaced them, and that this was their home, and all this other stuff, and he was trying to gather their brethren back, and so that they could, you know, have their little domain here in Undermountain again, um, and then he woke up the other two that we had passed on the way in, who came at us, and when they started wailing on us, uh, Kalana realized, oh, these are aberrations, uh, they they're not they're not from here they they have to be lying and then they attacked and then there was a long knockdown drag out fight with these motherfuckers of oh it was painful um thankfully we had tashi and ragnar who kept uh fire exploding teleporting us to get out of their grasp <laughs> as they would envelope us and like start pain sharing and so that was super fun we uh, left that, uh, went out around, talked to Boar about what to do with the Ware Goblins. Uh, a lot of debate on that. Uh, the party discovered Kalana was a mother. Um, uh, the Ware Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's got two kids that are alive. Um, and uh, the one of the Ware Goblins came up and uh, talked to us, thanked us. Uh, we were able to deceive them to realize we were, you know, that, that that we were the ones that actually killed them, but they think it's Willow uh, who killed half of them. Uh, they gave us the second boot of elven kind, so now we have an extra set of boots. Um, and uh, touched a little on Brock's problem with goblins, and then decided to move on and, and uh, get some rest for the night by... Uh, uh, heading and checking out one of the arch gate, the the arch gate that we didn't actually get to see, see the only one that we didn't actually get to see. So we did that, and we managed to activate it. Um, by so there was some arguing over like life cycles of a tree. I think Ragnar was talking about something, and Kalana went outside, got a stick, tapped it with the stick three times, and boom, it opened. <laughs> Just didn't see. Um, could we go through it? You did not go through it. We did not go through it. Oh yeah, because we had seen it earlier. Yep, you recognized um, where you recognized its other half. Right, we we had already passed its other half. It's it's back here in my nose somewhere. Um, yeah. Level two. That one. Yep, goes to level two. Um, <clears throat> and uh, then we kind of laid down, and Ragnar went to sleep. Um. And uh, uh, Brock and Truth and Kalana had a really big talk and a big old heart to heart. There was talk about is Terrelai going to be okay with the deal Truth and Kalana made where one would take the other down if something goes wrong. Brock was told about it. Um, Brock talked about why he was opened up and why he was here in Undermountain, that his mentor was tracking down a mind flayer that had slayed his his family of dwarves that had adopted him um, and taught him. It was his mentor, you know, someone really important to him and that he's probably somewhere down here and hopefully the mind flayer is too. Um, not the one that we talked to already. Not the ambassador to the skull fort. No, not that one. Not the one uh, I owe a favor to. Yeah. No, yeah, no, thank God. <laughs> 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 don't, don't. <God. laughs> but at least your gorals cut off um so there is that that's a good thing um truth uh talked about uh how what happened to him when he was younger uh and brock recognized the slave brand on his ear as being the uh sign of the um House Rosnar? 
Um, yep. I believe, yes. House Rosnar, which is one we had ta- the lady had tasked us with going to find her brother here in Undermountain. Uh, so we're super more interested in that now, um, as it seems that their family was the one who enslaved Truth. Um, so that's good. And uh, uh, what did Kalana share? Oh, uh, she talked about her time during the Spell Plague a little bit. That She had lost someone really special to her. Um, the one that had given her her flute, that he just kind of poofed, seemingly out of existence. Because uh, nobody really seemed to remember him except for her. <laughs> Bale fires and, like, a hell of one other run. person. <laughs> we, <laughs> we don't know. I don't know. <laughs> there's, there's hope. Dragon blood like... is a hell of a blood. <laughs> Dra- yeah, dragon blood is a hell of a drug. Um, you know, uh, but that he had one that given her the flute that she she brought back down with her this time, and then they all went to bed. And that's pretty much where we're picking up. Is the <sighs> the next morning? I'd say, except you guys wake up feeling fully refreshed, and it is indeed. Uh, still nightfall, and thank you, Hughes, for those gift subs. Greatly appreciate it. Hey. Are you eating a baby bell cheese wheel with a fork? <laughs> You're a monster. <laughs> you have to take Rock no light, greasy keyboard. And... <laughs> Rock no light, greasy keyboard. No, you need to be mouse. I have an entire thing. Of things mm. with fork. Mm-hmm. All right, well. <sighs> That's my kind of salad, just a bunch of little baby bell cheeses in a in a container. <laughs> There's <Yeah>. only two. <laughs> the <rest of> other <laughs> things. <laughs> oh, it's not enough. All right, so uh, is it the next morning? Have we taken our long you, rest? You have taken a long yes, rest. All right, cool. Oops. Did everyone sleep okay? Oh, I, I slept great. We did a lot yesterday, so... I don't know, Uriah, did we? You did. Uh, okay. <laughs> you got, um... There are some, uh... There were some moments through the night where you could see the glow of the wisp. Through the woods. Oh. Right. I forgot about the... I forgot about the wisp. Come back later! <laughs> oh, um, we're too busy being traumatized. Piss off, you spooky ghost! You see, you see truth with his, with his two books out in the morning. Did you have okay dreams? Yeah, I think so. Nope, you did not. <laughs> in case, in case you didn't remember, you did not. I yeah, no, I didn't. So is that a deception or? <laughs> Yeah. So, I don't, truth. I don't, was it intentional? <laughs> do you yep. just read like one book with each eye? Is that how you do that in the mornings? He's reading huh? one and writing. One the book with no, each I read eye. it. You, you see me writing yeah. one, you go over the other one. Occasionally. Can I insight check what he said? Or sure, roll inception there. Truth. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh! <laughs> <laughs> yep. He he's definitely lying. I'm gonna walk over and read. Peer, like to peer over and just read casually. Like try to. Oh oh, oh no. Mm-hmm. Isn't this the book that when you look at it? it why changes? why don't you want me to see? True. <laughs> don't worry about it. You, you know, it, it's, it's not important. Don't lie to me. Uh, it's probably not important. Truth. You girl's Truth. mad. <laughs> Your boy is happy. You know what? And I, I reach in and I'll take out the cap again. 
let's propose a different deal with this. Okay? You wear it, and most of the time. And then if I happen to use my mark, I will just wear it that night. So that's the only real time when it happens. Right. Yes, Brock? Why don't you just alternate nights so everyone's happy? Well, because... Because I don't have many. It's it's literally because of the mark. Okay. So at least I know when it's it's coming. It's going to happen. All right, next time we're on the surface, we're buying another one of them hats. <clears throat> you can just buy these? Probably. I already have a list of things I want to get. Definitely doing some shopping. Can you just buy these? I would... Maybe? These have existed my whole life? Rock, can you make stuff like that? Not right now, but maybe. What's it called? Uh, what is it called? Cap of, Cap of the good snooze. Yes, yeah, a cap of sleep goods. <laughs> um, I do not believe it actually has a magical item name. Oh, oh. did you did you make it? No, it is in no. just in the book. Oh. Oh. Huh. All right. Well, anyway. Uh, I mean, I kind of have something <clears throat> for us. I mean, this this will work, probably, you know. All right. Okay. All right. I okay. take the I take the nightcap. Oh, forgot to click that little inspiration button for you. Oh. Yay! Um. <sighs> oh, you know what? I'm. Y'all got me feeling things last night. I reach in my bag again. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take out a little, um, a tiny silver skull. Um, skull, you say? Yeah, she actually is watching walk walk over to to Ragnar. I meant to give this to you at the surface um, when we were back in the tavern, but I, I uh, things happened and I forgot. I found this a while ago, and I've kind of held on to it, but um, I think you would like it. Neat. Is it magic? No. It's just a silver skull. I found it when we were renovating Lift Your Spirits. Cool. I affix it to the staff. <clears throat> okay. Along with the other... Uh beads and, you know, dangly bits on there. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> dangly parts. <clears throat> All right, I finish my transcribing. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> You guys notice Whoa, from the um, the burnt down doorway uh, that is the entrance to this, um, which surprisingly nothing came inside uh, during your night's rest, um, <laughs> that there is no sunlight outside. Uh, we'll deal with that on the way out. Will we? I don't know. We let's uh, do the will of the wisp first. And then we'll go from there, maybe. Okay. Does that sound okay? Is that the agenda for today? Will the wisp and then goblins? Maybe. I'd like to at least try to talk to him if we see him on the way. Otherwise, yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Uh. I'm still very conflicted on all of that. Well, uh, 
I would say daylight's wasting, but um, daylight's burning. Yeah, but we're not. <laughs> Let's go find this place. <laughs> yeah, it still says a thing. I like this. <laughs> What's a, what thing? What? When when, when you go to. Yeah, when uh, if you actually, you, I think you can still see it in the log as well. Um, maybe not. Um, instead of saying "open a door," it says "open a thing," and it's like in 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 uh, curly oh, braces. Oh yeah. Whoa. <laughs> the reference is screwed nice. up. What am I on? Oh, the tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've asked that before. Yep. Um, oh, hi, Brock. <clears throat> Hello. <clears throat> Personal, yeah. Personal space. Brock. Oh, are we able to share spaces now? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Yeah. There's mini okay. clipping. <laughs> um, can we still go to? Can we still go to outer space? Dog pile. <laughs> and it's tiny. Okay, lift yourself up. What? Oh no, no, you can't. We oh, we can't go to outer space anymore. No, <laughs> you can't lift oh, each other. Dog pile. Where I'm at. Okay. Hug. <laughs> we are <laughs> legion. <laughs> Yeah, everyone rotate outwards. We are an abomination. Jeez. <laughs> see if we can all rotate outward and be like the four-faced angel or whatever. <laughs> oh, my Is God. All? Yeah, oh, all yeah. Yeah. rotate. <laughs> so can I... Mm, can what's that? It's what my nightmares are made Your out. shoulder, your shoulder makes me look like Davy Jones from Black <laughs> Girl. Jesus. <laughs> Tentacle thing. Oh my god, those are horns. Okay, yeah, there we yeah. go. I can't zoom oh in any further. Oh, that's terrifying. Well, that's the new icon for Out of Alignment. Hope you like it. Oh my god. <laughs> Draw that. No. <laughs> I have. Right oh, man. oh god, look at Ragnar's point of view. He's the center head and we're his ears. Uh, yeah, there's a very unfortunate. And there's a tail of coming out of his tail. chest. <laughs> Uh, that's not the chest, my dude. That is uh, a little more uh, southerly located than the chest, my there friend. We go. Is that I guess Ragnar got a, looks, a lot of looks at the spa, huh? When we... <laughs> <laughs> okay, this moving is on. More popular than Martin. Can we get through one session without dick jokes? <laughs> Absolutely not. No. God. Hey, we're an 18 plus okay, stream. For that, one. It just happened. Oh, that wasn't goodness. a dick joke. That was a dick reality. <laughs> <laughs> like a slip and slide. Um, Unsolicited dick minis. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, so what are we doing? Wisp. Right. Oh, yeah, we're killing things. <laughs> Here, wispy, wispy, wispy. It went that way. Maybe you need to whisper for it to hear you. You guys had last seen it going off in this direction. Oh, right. No one, no one caught that. Okay. No. What? I got it. I just ignored it. For it to hear you, you have to whisper. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I ain't laughing, but I got it. <laughs> it's not long before you guys see a. Uh, a, what appears to be a gravesite. Um, the trees tree. above are bearded with moss, but those closer to the ground are burned and long since dead. Between them lies a gravestone, and it seems to almost be carved in the likeness of a rose. Is there a gravestone that we're supposed to be seeing? Um, or is it just... Oh! <laughs> hmm. Is there actually a fizz rep? Uh-huh. Yep, oh, there is. That's not me that I'm trying to drag. That's why I won't move. It reads, Here lies Crisson, human friend and companion. <clears throat> okay. Oh, what do you suppose this is? After being at the grave site for a moment... The um, you can see a faint glow in the uh, in the mound of dirt, and Ooh. out rises a will-o'-wisp. Ah. 
is very slowly rising out from the grave. Oh. Hi. As it does, you just hear... Um, uh, help me. Jesus. Oh, oh anybody that. have any cough syrup? Okay. Destroy um. the witch. We did? Willow? You mean Willow? As you admit that Willow has been defeated, um, the wisp begins to vibrate and scream. What? Um, and eventually fades away. Oh. Well, that's not where I expected that to go. And as it did, uh, you notice that the dirt below began to shift. And there appears Uh-oh. to be something like looks like a a stick poking out of the grave. Oh, okay. <laughs> it appears to be about um, probably eight inches long. Uh, it has, looks to be thin and has magical runes decorated around it. Oh, right there. It's a stick. Yeah. It's a magic stick. <laughs> Would you like me to try? <laughs> I thought he read runes, but yeah, okay. I can't. Do I, read, I read runes? You read magic runes. We read runes. Oh, I don't. Oh uh, do I recognize the runes on there? Um, do, Are you trained in Arcana? Yes. Then roll. <laughs> I remember that was half the point of this character oh, was to have one guy trained in Arcana in this freaking party. Yeah. Oh, oh fuck you. Oh. Eat a dick. Tailspire. First roll it's of a fucking stick. night. Yeah. <laughs> it's a magic stick. That is definitely a wand. You could totally put someone's stick. eye out with that, but beyond that, I think it's just a stick. Okay, Brock, do the do the thing. Okay. It's in front. This. Oh, I'll have chamomile hold it. Is a wand of fireballs. Uh, Ragnar, you're gonna want I this. I turn it back to Ragnar. <laughs> oh no, I swore off fireball for Lent. Thank you. Oh, well, I guess Lent. if it's in a wand, it'll be fine. <laughs> you can okay. swear off Lent. It does. <laughs> <laughs> it does require attunement. Ow. Yep. Uh, actually, in that case, um, buy a buy a spellcaster. So uh, I can do that. I think you're all spellcasters technically. So um, I mean, I can technically cast spells. Yep, but like that, that makes you a spellcaster by I by mean... the rules. <laughs> um, if it needs attunement, I can do that. Yeah, I'm I'm attuned to all attuned up. Yeah, I'm about to be not. So dang, oh, I was God, actually hoping slots. to get a wand fireball. You have how many slots? Um, should only have three. Yeah, three is no. I meant I thought he said he had three free ones. I have a free slot. Uh, oh, there you go. I don't have one yet, but I will later. But if you have it now, go for it. All right. It'll take an hour to attune. So you could either w- wait an hour or on your next short rest. I mean, it's it. fireballs. I think it's worth a minute. We'll we'll wait for the next short rest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's worth a minute. Yeah. No more. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hopefully my fan there doesn't get kicked up too hard on the mic. Let me know if it does. It hot. I definitely hear it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It. Yeah, but it's sort of like in the background, at least for me, just kind of up the wall. Yeah. You're you stand out more. Than okay. The... Good. 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 Sorry, guys. It's very hot in this room. Um, it's like hearing the rumbly of a tumble. If so, you have background music, we won't hear it. That's true. Oh. Oh. Just turn on some of that atmosphere. Wow. 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 We need sound alerts. We have sound alerts. No, we do not have sound alerts. 
You're lucky we don't have sound alerts. I'd be spamming yeah, that shit. Yeah, I know. Uh, that's why we don't have sound alerts. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Specifically because of me. I have been known. All right. All right, no. I can't even hear the music, so I'm going to turn off my fan and just deal with being hot. I'm just going to tuck, the, tuck the wand in. Oh, sorry, I hear the music right now. Um, yeah, but I can't. I'm, I'm the half-deaf one, so... Um, so, anyway, um, yeah, Wanda Fireball, seven charges, uh, and you can cast Fireball with it for a charge. And doesn't it get, like, 1d4 charges? No. It gets 1d6 plus one charges. So basically, you've got six free Fireballs, and then who knows how many tomorrow. Yeah. How much does it recharge today? One D six plus one. Oh. Yeah. But if you use all the charges, it has a chance to crumble. Yeah, so just use like no more than two or three a day. <laughs> well, it has seven. I mean, I have my uh, wand of magic missile, and I basically just save it so I can blast uh, level six magic missile once every day or so. Yeah, but with fireball, didn't we figure out it's cheaper? It's better just to cast individual. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's always better for the dice. But if you need to kill one motherfucker really fast. <laughs> <laughs> level 9 fire level the 8, level 8 fireball would you use. Assume uh, can you use multiple charges yep. when you want a fireball? Yes, you can. Yeah, so level 8 fireball would use six charges. <clears throat> so next time we see Jarl Axel. Well, he hasn't done anything to warrant death as much as I want to smack him across the face. I was good. Until you said that, I was like, now wait a minute. <laughs> You're the one. What? <laughs> that really hated that guy. He okay. pisses me off, but I don't want to kill him. Okay? I, want, I really just want to bitch smack him. That's what I really want to do. Plus the Mark clan is <laughs> he's a, pretty fond of Jarl Axel. He's a drow, isn't he? Yep. Yeah, he's drow. I yeah, he probably liked that. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> not wrong from what we've seen. Um, <laughs> speaking of bitch slap and stuff, um, we got that goblin problem. We yeah. just leave them to their own devices and just go. We should try to explain to them at least what's going to fucking happen if they do this. I mean, you did no. do that to the one. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work, though, unfortunately. Yeah, they ignored us. Yeah. Alright. I guess. Uh, you know what? One last question. Um, I'm gonna pull out the bulb. Oh. Do we wanna summon Halister? Why? For shits. I don't know. I mean. Ask him something? Tell him that, you know, this whole place is gonna get fucked from the were goblin? I right. do not think Summon he him, shit. and then I'll. Wanda fireballs with that no, level. That's... So that idol oh. confuses me. Does it actually summon him, or does it just an image of him? Like as far is it as a conduit for talking. As far as him? you're aware, it summons him. Oh, you know, I don't really want to mess with the okay. archmage. Oh. I was gonna say if we wanted to just talk to him, I'm sure we could probably just shout at the non-existent ceiling and he'd appear. What but if you're wanting to do something... <clears throat> I mean, we can that. only use it on this level, so I mean, like, while we're here... You think we can do that? Oh. No, we'll no. be back. We, we, can, we can come back, yeah. The dude's also... I wouldn't put it past him to, like, be in the middle of... I don't know, eating a pie. And then you pull him here, and he kills somebody for it. Yeah, I mean, so mad is in his name. Alright, alright, alright. I just It was a thought. So, so my thought, it's not a bad idea, I'm just saying, unless you want to, like, <clears throat> I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I was thinking of trying to ask him something. I don't really, like, ask him things. I don't know that he's necessarily going to give us a straight answer. But <laughs> Like, hey, or, where's Pison? Hey, where's, you know, this way... mind flare? You know? Let's explore a few more levels and see if we uh, get an opportunity to speak with him naturally without just summoning, summoning him yeah. unbidden. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. I'm sure we just talk about him enough, he'll appear, though. Mm. Possible. Alright, so we, um... Are we going goblin hunting? Or are we, uh, or are we just gonna... I really think we should just move on to the next level. That's my opinion. I'll follow along and do what you guys want to do, but that's my opinion as we just move on. <clears throat> Brock. Unpopular opinion. Mm. You did just find a wand that makes death almost instantaneous for the ones you don't want to touch. Oh, God. oh that's not... Just throwing that out there. I'm looking for a rock. You very easily find a rock. I throw it at Brock's head. <laughs> <laughs> Tink! I mean, my armor's on, so... <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. I wouldn't Point be taken. throwing rocks at heads of pe people who are unarmored. That didn't stop Krillin. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Point taken. Roger, if you want to do something, then I'm not going to stand in your way. It's not that I want to. It's I don't have an issue if we need to. I'm not saying let's go and wipe out a group of people. I'm saying if we need to, I can. Well, let's just head on the next level, then. Yeah, I hate it yeah. here. <laughs> Where was that? Nora? Way over there. It was oh, all nice. the like, way. Can we teleport? Yeah, you can teleport still. So it was like on the edge of the mountainside, wasn't well, it? I'm, it I'm was a, are we allowed to? Yes, it was over here. Yeah. Zoom. Ah. Yeah. <clears throat> zoom out and see the whole map. Yeah. Yep. Where is me? There's me. Um, as you guys approach this time, the wall of thorns does not arise, and you can now clearly see that this tunnel seemed to have been dug by some larger creature, for sure. You can see various claw marks dug into the earth and stone. Oh. Mm. Can mm. I identify what sort of critter might have done this? Um, <laughs> let me see what type of check it will be. I have a thing on this somewhere, and I forgot where I saved it. There it is. So I need a Arcana check. Oh, all right. Here I was thinking I was going to win the worst uh, druid ever award for not being trained in nature. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> what, I'm what, going back to bed. What's the total? I'm going back to bed, guys. That's a seven. That's a seven. Yeah, no. Uh, you, you haven't Flash seen... Flash Genius? Flash Genius? All right. What's the total? Plus five. It's a twelve. Uh -huh. That is enough to know. These are the claw marks of an umber hawk. Oh. The fuck is that? Oh, okay. That could oh. be a lot worse. I'll just say the name gives it away. <laughs> I mean, it's a big. It's a uh, big fuck off angry beetle. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, that's, that's, that's definitely better. That definitely could be the worse. The giant Hitler. mustache of pinchers. If, and, it, if I. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. And you can uh, you can also tell looking around that there it seems to have almost been it looks like it was guided. Huh. Oh. Oh, she said the Duragard. Where the uh, what if so maybe they got one of these things to dig a hole for them into the next level. Is that a possibility right here? Um, probably? I don't remember how intelligent Umber Hulks are. So, but 
I mean, you can get most critters to do what you want with the proper application of pokey sticks. Yeah. And beef jerky. Fair enough. That's my experience anyway. Well, I guess... Which end of the stick? I guess we just be careful going down this tunnel. <laughs> yes. All right. Are doing lights on or lights off? Oh, right. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Are, well, no, I mean, do we want to go down there with lights on or lights off? I mean, it's probably lights, uh, off. lights off, seeing as how we all have dark vision. Yeah. And you're invisible. All right. <laughs> yeah, actually. Go ahead and uh, go to the L06, the lost level. Yeah. Or just wait until I click the summon button. Ooh, oh, summon it. button. Ooh. Just remember, do not hit tab due to the bug. Tab. Tab. Oh, do we still, are we still able to see uh, hidden fire? glows yes you can still see hidden fire glows no matter what <laughs> which is unfortunate it's the transition <laughs> but... scooby-doo ending <laughs> yeah <laughs> Jeez. <clears throat> oh, hey. you guys walk down these tunnels for a while um and then you start to it starts to kind of open up a little bit the rubble on the floor in front of you. Um, the air is cloudy with darkness and dust. Beneath your boots crunch rumble and debris left by the umber hook, apparently. Uh, for, so, for, for so very, very long, all you hear is the sound of your own footfalls until it suddenly seems to, up ahead, break into what appears to be a smooth stone wall. Um, and the air here is stale but clean. But something's amiss. Something strange. You blink and find nothing but darkness. You can't see. Mm. Have, have you gone blind? With a start, you realize your eyes cannot pierce this night. You feel naked. Like a singer without their voice, or a warrior without his arms. <clears throat> what this? I know when they Can said warrior without his arms, they meant like a warrior without weapons, but I'm just imagining a guy <laughs> without arms going around like, Where the fuck did they go? <laughs> okay. They were here a minute ago. With well, that, you, does this that, work? You light your, you light your lantern, and immediately you can see within the, the bright ring of light. <gasps> Just ah. fine. Okay. Ow. Okay. okay. I unhood my lantern. Let it be a light for you when all other lights have gone. Uh, truth. Okay, Jesus. You hear in your head <laughs> uh, the voice of Terulai. I, I can't seem to see down here, my boy. I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah, there's some kind of magical darkness. Like it, it almost looks like the thing that I can, I can cast. Um. Except this light is illuminating it, so no, that's different. Hmm. Um, and you notice um, that behind you, a sheer wall has replaced the tunnel from which you arrived. <sighs> I think this might be a trap. Well, and there is now there, and as you as you look back, there begin to be words that carve themselves in to uh, into the wall. Um, Are they rude? They they're they're written in common. Um, find the heart of the mountain, and you shall be able to leave. And you may leave this place. Fail, and this too shall be your tomb. Don't tell me what to do, Wall. <laughs> yeah, watch oh, yourself, good. Wall. You Another stick place. Of fireballs. That... Another place that we're going to have to, uh... Riddle our way out of? Yep. Okay. Yeah, you taking point, Rock? Yeah. Okay. I got the back. Okay. Guess we'll just... Whoa, okay, we're going to not do that. We're just going to drag. Yeah, say so definitely be careful of the, <laughs> the walking. You will just walk on top of... I guess I'll come up to here. That's all I can yeah. see. 
you notice there is a small fork. Like one for salads or? Oh, for uh, fondue. Oh. And the darkness is that... cloying, kind of pressing in at the light. It's your light doesn't go out too terribly far. Well, it helps us with our stealthiness. Left hand or right hand rule. Listen. Make me a perception check. I'm also listening. I have no memory of this place. Oh. All right. Um, Oh, shit. Kalana, I'm actually going to reveal a bit of this hallway here. Because what Uh happens... Is you, you hear footfalls hurried um, it, even with that natural one you still manage to, to hear the same uh, um, I actually got a 15 for my first roll okay yeah and <laughs> oh, oh cutscene mode okay oh I don't see him any you shouldn't yet. Oh, there he is. You oh. see a globe of light as you can dip, see what is plainly a dark dwarf running. As he runs, you see him look behind him almost frantically. Um, and he looks ahead suddenly in surprise as he sees your guys' light up ahead as well. Run! Run before it! F- <laughs> and suddenly his throat gets torn out from behind him. Oh. By some invisible force. You see blood spatter down the hallway. What system are we playing again? Are we rolling initiative? I you don't seem to. Invisible. Well, not that way. Uh, <clears throat> um, do we think there's something coming towards us, or is it just? I think there's something force? coming towards us. What level is this freaking spell? <laughs> All right, I cast flaming spear on the doorway. Okay. Doorway. Like right here. Yep. Okay. Oh. I was just suddenly cast grease. Suddenly, a ball of fire erupts in the doorway, and it just kind of sits there, roiling. And I point the other way and go, let's go. Okay. Wait, what does that do? Ah. It's fire. <laughs> oh. Well, I, I push it. Just... Okay, upon noticing that this, the way this works, the way that it comes around, I push the flaming sphere forward so that it's here. Why are you not, why are you not working? There we go, here. Okay. Okay. Basically, it's anything within five feet of it. It's five foot sphere, and anything within five feet of it gets crispy. So just sort of block this intersection off. Okay. Okay. You don't hear this. You don't hear any screams or anything else uh, coming from that direction. But all seems okay. There's some extra insurance. Jesus. Say for some extra insurance uh, when we come up this way. Yeah. Which way do we want to go? (laughs) I don't know. Pick a direction, Brock. I say away from it. So, what is that? East? That way? East. Good. Sure. Okay. Once everyone's passed. How do you do the sphere thing again? M. M. Oh, yeah. There's a hotkey for it. I'm going to cast a grease right here. Okay. So, a 10 foot. 10 foot square, so right there just covers it in grease, so if it has any footprints, it should leave some. Okay. And it lasts for one minute, looks like. So. How long oh. does your flaming sphere last? Uh, I think also a minute, but let me double check. Yep, concentration up to one minute. Okay. Eh, buttons. 
try to make my tiny legs catch up. <laughs> yeah, let him go in front. He's less squishy than the two of you. <laughs> papers! Yes, so this is just, the papers are just general debris. Yeah. <laughs> to show Anybody's. you that the chambers are dirty. As long as it is debris <laughs> and not detritus, I am okay. <laughs> yeah. That the hallways are dirty is important. <laughs> yes. We learned yeah. that early on. Okay. Well. Oh, you guys are going to love this part. More hallways. And a door. And a... Oh, it's a root. Oh, I saw a shadow. I was like, the hell is that? With the shape of that root, I thought it was like a desiccated corpse. Yeah, I was <laughs> oh, like, that's I bad it was a news. skeleton standing there, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Do we want to try the door or more hallways? Uh, the door. Yeah, so let's listen at the door first. So hold up a second. Okay. Yeah, let's okay. look for a magic rune on it. <laughs> Make me a perception check. Oh dang. Twenty-three. No, twenty-seven. All right. Um, quiet. Truth? Yep, there we go. Okay. This is not a place to get separated. Yep, we're just, I'm just there keeping an eye out behind us. I'm like walking backwards. No, I, I, let me do that. I'm less squishy. Um, and less visible. What appears to be an old reliquary uh -oh. lies in ruins. Shadows team amongst the wreckage, and the smell of blood is fresh on the air. A dwarf lies dead amongst the wreckage. Another Durgar yeah. slaughtered. Well, that might not be good. Ooh, okay. Quick breather. So, I dropped actually, concentration yeah. on uh, Flaming Sphere. Okay. I don't think I mine want... requires it. Nope. I want to search the body. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll stand by the door. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, found a bug. Let me write that down. Uh oh. What? What's the bug? What'd you do? I requested to close both doors. Uh, and when you <laughs> confirm the request, it it's still saying truth would like to close a thing above my head. There's there's only one door. Yeah, well, I, oh, I requested to close it twice, I guess. Yeah, that's probably what happened, and you, so that's a, that's a, you, almost, that's almost user error. <laughs> yeah, because it, it, it's one double door. Um, uh, yeah. It's an order of operations issue. Yep. Uh, I thought they were two separate doors. So he is wearing, uh, it's largely ruined now, uh, judging by all the tears in it, uh, but he does have scale mail. Uh, and, uh, at his, uh, waist sits a war pick. Take the war pick, I guess. Does he have, like, any kind of notes or anything on him? Like, any signifying clan? I don't know. Nothing. Okay. I'll be back in a moment. <clears throat> he, he forgot about his waiting screen. <laughs> It's okay, we have new ones now. Okay, That's so only if I turn off the camera, which I'm not going to do. So with the purple hue on his chair, it looks like a fuzzy, like, pimp chair, if that makes sense. Well, maybe I can. Like one of those really fuzzy hats you see? There we go. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yep, cool. It's a war pick. A war pick? Yep. It's... I was trying to find it. Oh, okay. I oh, thought you were just trying okay. to figure out what it looked like. Yeah. I just want to see it. There it is. Mm -hmm. Just took a minute. Um, yep. Brock. It doesn't... Now that you're able to <laughs> take a moment, um, you're realizing all of the craftsmanship of the walls is very dwarven. On this level. This very much looks similar to what you've studied as various dwarven temples. Okay. Any reference to Maradin? Not that you're seeing. Hmm. Certainly not in this room where everything has been shattered 
and spread across the floor. Um, How does it look like this guy died? Uh, looks to be some sort of claw marks across his scale mail that have ripped it, and his uh, his chest cavity is almost like splayed open. Could I make a ch- there are fucking like xenomorphs in this place? Say I, medicine man. I, I, I didn't hear. Like a... I didn't hear what you asked, Caroline. Oh, I, like can I try to make a check to see what kind of animal would maybe? Sure, make a. Uh... Make a um, survival check. So you said it looked like his chest was Clawed shot open, like like open. like torn open from the outside. Mm-hmm. Oh, 19. so there's not leathery eggs lying around. Got yeah, it. no. <laughs> nah, someone made his uh soft or his uh in, soft internal bits uh into a snack. His outside bits. <laughs> yeah. <19. laughs> Made his inside bits and the outside bits. Yes. Um. No clue. Definitely not like any beast you've ever seen. It's like a reverse exoskeleton. Um. Could it? Could it be an aberration? Definitely doesn't seem like it. Oh. Um. You also uh. Let's see. In this room, you also see various things that look like they could actually be salvageable. Oh. Like what? Um, you find a small, a t- uh, 10-inch tall, lapis lazuli statue of a dwarf king. Holy crap. <laughs> That's worth a lot. Do you want it? I'm sorry, how tall did you say? 10 inch. 10 inches. 10-inch okay. tall statuette. It's lapis lazuli, though. Yep. Uh, what appears to be a funeral shroud with shards of blue quartz sewn into it. Uh, and a one foot tall, three feet long uh, alabaster triptych uh, depicting a dwarven wedding that is still in one piece. Uh, th- this weighs about 25 pounds. Who is moving that die on me? Get out of here. Aww. Who indeed? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 was the die moving on itself, guys? <laughs> I was looking away. That is definitely Never an indication. <laughs> uh, I cast fireball on the die. <laughs> you don't have the wand. That is fair. I will will myself into an earlier edition of this character. <laughs> <laughs> Through pure fear and paranoia. I'll take the shawl. Shroud? Shroud, sorry. Words. It starts with an S. Anyone want a beautiful thing of a dwarven wedding that's really big? Uh, it's definitely a beautiful art piece. Eh. It is pretty. How the big? door is suddenly. Oh, <laughs> the thing, Which the door? Thing. Hey-o. This door. This door. The one next to me. The one that I closed. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, are, there any, like, are there any handles to like bar the door? Um, there are. And oh, there's right. plenty of wood. Yep, I pick a piece maybe of wood. We should have bar maybe we should have been doing that this whole time. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Look at all the wood everywhere. Yep. Well, whatever's um, out there doesn't know how to use the doorknobs, so we got an advantage there. That's fair. Yeah, um, the, the, door the, still, the doors still rumble as the, uh, as the wood creaks and groans within the handles. There's still two other exits out of this room. We should go. One of these. um... Can I take take a listen look here on this one? Sure. If you want to take the time to make a perception check, by all means. No. Yeah. No. That's true. You're right. No. Okay. Thank you. I didn't even see that other door. (laughs) That's fine. That's fine. I'm good. Uh, which one? Eeny meeny miny moe. The one nearby is fine. Okay. I'm doing a perception check on this door. Cool, fuck that. There's okay. a door. 
That takes time. Um, <laughs> Basically, I'm just going to stick my quiet. ear to the door if I hear anything immediately. Quiet. Well, well apparently we already made a choice. I'm going to yep. bar this door. Good. <clears throat> Bring a piece of wood oh, to God. bar this one. I grab yeah, a piece of wood to bar this other door. Okay. Uh, as you close that door uh, and begin to bar it, the wood on the other door splinters. Oh, you, you, I, I know you guys want to close it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, every, I just see on the side of my screen, close the door, close the door, close the door, close the door. Hey, like, I'm getting there. Present us with a horror situation and expect us to act <laughs> like we're not in a horror movie all of a sudden. Um, the wood like splinters the open person. on the other set of doors as they swing wide, and you hear what sounds to be a rushing of wind as you're able to close the door and get some, uh, get it barred again. I hear a rushing wind. Oh, See, oh what I would do for a freaking Claymore. <laughs> not the medieval kind. <laughs> I really wish I had to tune the, uh, the wand of fireballs right about now. Okay, <laughs> Yep. Uh, well, you can definitely see uh, what appears to be some longer hallways. Um, and you can see light coming from both ahead and over off to the side. Over this way seems to be torchlight. What's the one in the front? It seems to be a soft glow that is... Actually, you can, you can see them now that I think about it because they're, they're glowing in the darkness. Uh, you can see two pillars alight with, uh, quartz pillars alight with, uh, a, so a soft blue glow. Well, I trust that about as much as I trust the spooky wind from the last room. <laughs> uh, uh, left or right? Um, I vote left. Left it is. All right. Rock. In the front. Yep. 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 My tiny legs are going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Coming into this room, oh, you God. see what appear to be two Zorn, which you've messed with before, and a number of Dark Dwarves taking a look at the wall. Um, as you guys approach, the Zorns immediately turn to face you, as does one of the Dark Dwarves, uh, hearing your approach. Can I sprint over to the Dark Dwarf? Uh, I would say, say he... he 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 hold, he puts one hand on his weapon and the other up. Oh, like like halt? Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, I speak under common, <laughs> so uh, in under there common. Yeah. Uh, a thing chasing us. <laughs> Shit! All right, come. We need to get back to the center. And he starts just running past you. Yeah, oh. oh uh, uh, okay. Um, okay. Are those and yours? Aye, they'll be fine on their own. And I, with right. that, they immediately both burrow down into the ground. Oh, they met the dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, follow me. <laughs> anyway. Yep. Okay, where are we going? Uh, they are leading oh. you back and down the center here. Oh, boy. Ah. Um, and he basically leads you all the way over to the door. Okay. Um, okay. As you guys get there, uh, you can hear the wood cracking on the door behind. Um, yep, that's it. As uh, he bangs on the doors in front of in in in, in front, um, and uh, shit, sorry, I need to find this fucking room. Uh, um. And see, do any of you speak, I think maybe at least one of you do, if not a few of you, uh, speak Dwarvish. Yep. I comprehend languages. Uh, I speak Dwarvish. Um, he immediately uh, bangs on the door and in Dwarvish um, uh, uh, says, The beast is after us! And you can hear shuffling of various heavy objects on the other side as the door creaks uh -oh. and groans behind you guys and suddenly flies open. Oops. Mm -hmm. um, Unbar the door quicker! <laughs> uh, one of the dwarves kind of 
two, or two of them kind of hold back and get in a kind of more defensive position as the doors in front of you guys slowly swing open uh, and allow you guys inside. Whoops. It's open. Come on. There's more doors. Yeah, no, that was an accident. I didn't know which direction you guys were going to come from, so I had to have double Holy doors. Holy crap. Oh. Yeah. Oh, pretty Hi. Hi. Um, and a few of the dwarves make it in uh, as... Uh, you. Yes. As two of them are suddenly torn asunder in the middle oh. of the hallway by whatever this thing is. You didn't tell me we were reliving Elfin Lead, Uriah. <laughs> That's a blast of the past right there. Yep. Uh, quickly, the doors get closed. Uh, and once again, barred with various crates and stone. Um, and, uh, at, in addition, uh, as you walk in here, um, a voice cries out. Almost seemingly from around all of you. Um, finding the words for that. Uh... Uh, in Dwarvish, so only uh, some of you can uh, understand it. Uh, okay. Neither secrets nor treasure shall ye find. Turn back. Ye are not welcome here. And as, as that happens, the dark dwarves that are that are bringing you in just kind of shrug it off. Was it a voice that came over? Yes. It was. Oh. It was loud. It was like everyone could hear it. I'll it was. It was external. <laughs> just came Selling over the PA to... system. Pretty much. Is this thing on? Um, yeah, translate that for everybody. <laughs> Let's I'm see. I'm more concerned as what the ever-loving shit that thing is. What this place assuming... is in here can only be described as a temple to the gods. To one god in particular, as some of you can immediately notice. Ooh. Quartz pillars shed their queer ivory light. Durgar lean against these pillars, nursing their wounds, while one dwarfess, notably tanner than her brethren, paces about the room. Her dwarfish, her dwarfish cussing floats out like sheet music as she, <laughs> as she slowly walks your way. The nave of this temple up ahead, which you can also technically see... Um leads to what appears to be a dais of golden marble, which behind it you can yeah. see tall black basalt doors, flanked by glowing pillars of ivory light. It appears to have some sort of um, inscription on it, uh, some sort of art piece, but it's definitely too far to tell from here. And for all its beauty, death is still here. The stench of blood and brain matter stains the very air, and you can make out four corpses on the dais, beaten to a bloody pulp. Dwarf? Yep. Okay. Is this where you guys let it loose? Uh, you see, um, they kind of gesture towards the dwarfess uh, approaching you guys. Um, find her oh, description here. There you go. Uh, uh, she appears to be um, shield dwarf partly okay. part shield dwarf part Durgar um, she's covered in various uh, she wears a gem studded cloak which appears to be very fancy and fastened to her belt uh, in plain view is a small gold figurine of a female elf holding up a small symbol of the sun. And there also appears to be a she a dagger sheathed in her boot. Uh, do I know what that holy symbol is? Uh, you do not. Oh. Do you... um, I? Nope. It does not appear to be a holy symbol. Oh, okay. The elf with the sun? Yeah, it just appears to be okay. a, a, like a statuette. Um, oh. Uh, oh. Hi. Seems you're all trapped in the Mad Mage's game as well, then. 
Apparently, yep. what was that? That is a very good question. Uh, we just call it death. As that's oh. what it visits upon us. Yeah, that's apt. Yeah, we, yeah, we just saw got a... three more of your number, so... You can we see saw... above, circling around the chamber. This is a very tall chamber. Uh, two cloakers as well. Oh, God. Oh, oh okay. Oh, they're, oh, they're just kind of circling. They're just kind of circling. Oh. Um... You see all the various bedrolls of all the dwarfs, some of them leaning up. Some of the... At one dwarf, you notice, uh, rocks in a fetal position against one of the pillars, quietly crying to himself. Fear does things to man. Are those, uh, those <clears throat> folks, uh, are they, uh, are they chill? Yeah, they're dead with us. Don't worry about them. Oh, we ran into some, uh, a level up that we're not uh yeah friendly All right. <laughs> so i'm just gonna sort of walk over here and sort of tap brock on the shoulder hmm. yeah. hey we should uh take once around the room and try doing some first aid see if anybody's injured oh while yeah, uh, yeah, the the talkie folks do the talkie bit that hey, makes yeah. all sense <laughs> okay hey, we uh, um, we would appreciate anybody, that, thank you. Has anybody yes, uh, seen it without getting ripped apart? Uh, the problem is you don't get to see it. Is, it, is there what a reference I, to what it is? None of us know. Um, mm. We got down here with some umber hooks. We kind of lured him down here to dig our way and find all the riches we can. But... Um, mm -hmm. Once we got down here, the Mad Mage sealed us in. Okay. Claimed we needed to open the heart of the mountain in order to be free. Oh, yeah, we got that message, yeah, we too. Saw that too. Yeah. And, uh. Yeah, he, uh. Then loosed whatever the hell those things are. Things? There's, There's at least two one. of them that we know oh, of. Geez. Oh, jeez. Fuck's sake. And with our dark vision not working, none of our. Other vision sight spells working either. Can't see what they are. Can't see where they are. God. Was it dark like this before the Mad Mage sealed you in, or was it after he sealed you in? Oh, only after. We got here to the uh, to the heart. Saw uh, saw the majesty of this chamber, and uh, everything went dark. It was only this is when the we. Heart? Well, close enough. She points over towards the the uh, dais, up up with oh. the with the four smashed corpses. Those doors back mm. there lead to the heart, but only the hand of a dwarf king can open them. Uh, when, uh, is that what happened? Uh, to your, uh, four. There's a rights? there's a guardian guardian up there. Only bothers ah. people who are on the dais or up in that little section before the doors, but. Uh, I, I'm not proud of it, but I took the opportunity while he was distracted to go check the doors out. Found out to need a hand of a dwarf king. A, a literal hand? A literal hand, from what I can tell. So we have a tiny dwarf king. I, I doubt it. It's, it's just a statue. I mean, if you want to be, if you want to try, be my guest. But you'll have to deal with the guardian first. I, I was going to ask, does the Guardian just attack at sight, or does it talk to you? Oh, he attacks. He comes straight out of that dais up there. And then attacks everything in sight. What is it? Uh, some golem of some kind. Mm. Okay. But, um, I've sent a few parties out. You, you obviously ran into one uh, to try to find the uh, Tomb of Milar. Oh, he, he was the uh, the dwarven king here in Undermountain. And oh, okay. His mm. tomb is likely on this level, being the uh, temple to Dumathoin that this is. To who? Dumathoin. Do I know that name? Yes, uh, the dwarf god uh, 
of like secrets and under mountains. Uh, oh my god! Okay, you've actually yeah, cleaned a altar to him. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Yeah, I'll turn to the party. So, quick story on that. He's the god of secrets. Chances are it's not going to be in plain sight. So, look for puzzles, I guess. Oh, good. So, like, the tomb won't be clearly labeled? or Probably apparent. not. Probably not. Probably I, not. There was a... Uh, we did notice a, a library, surprisingly. You know, <laughs> given the... Uh, given our lack of writing things down usually in paper. Uh, that definitely caught our attention. But um, I sent their group to scout that out along with any of the other. There are some various art pieces depicting Marar's life. Figured there might be some hints there. But uh, yeah, this group here is the first one you came back. Um, did you guys find anything, mm -hmm. uh, Krumar? Mm, one of them shuts up. I just, uh... Oh, shit, what was that room? <laughs> that was room... 12. Um, I just some carvings of the mountain with, uh, what appeared to be gemstones in the, uh, in the art piece, but nothing we could see. Mm. What was that one that we saw back in the other room? Uh, a wedding. Yeah. I have it. Yeah, here. <laughs> a beautiful piece. I'd love to add it to my collection. If you'd be willing to part with it. If we get out of here. Uh, you know, we're actually looking for something ourselves here. Um, <laughs> if you might happen. Uh, looking for a, a dagger of blind sight. Oh, you mean this? She just pulls it straight out. Um, of the Stole it fair and square. Wish but I'll tell you what. Up? You helped us get in that into the chamber. I'll give it to you. What did you need it for? Conquest. Conquest of what? The dagger? It's fun to steal things. Oh, oh just for fun. Okay. Got it. S's and G's. Yield S's and G's. She has a good point. I say from across the room where I'm checking what? someone's bandages. <laughs> <laughs> it is fun to steal things. I am well aware. I've been doing it for a long time. Most people call them archaeologists. No. <laughs> the doors rattle against the uh, Jeez. against the, the, the various things piled against them. Uh, but do not give. Oh, man. <sighs> That's good. That's fun. Yeah. Mm. Actually, well. I'm going to kind of, while I'm trying to treat some of these dwarves, I'm going to see if I can barter with some of them. All right. What you trying to do? Trying to find diamonds. Oh. See if any of them have some. Yeah, we definitely need some diamonds. Specifically a dollar amount of diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, you know, spells. Uh, yeah, if we can just so happen to find 300 GP worth of diamonds. You know what that's for? <laughs> yep. Oh, okay. Um, I have that spell now. <laughs> to, to, to undead us. <laughs> to undead people, yeah. I feel like it made Wait, sense for me to have it. You, make, uh, you have Revivify as well? Yes, just Good. got it. Yes. Nice. I also have yes. lightning bolt. Nice. Not the same. Lightning nope. Which is bolt. very fun. I um, never realized what it did. And I about did it on those dark dwarves. I'm glad they stopped us. Because <laughs> they were all in a line. So, um, asking around, most of them don't seem... Th th they have various um, things, uh, treasures, it seems, that they've already plundered from a few escapades on this level. Uh, but mm. nothing, nothing diamonds, and nothing that they seem willing to part with. Um, okay. Oh, that's fine. Skella, or sorry, the the dwarf S, who it has never has not introduced herself yet, uh, oh. looks around and uh, notices that you, you know you're you're trying to to barden stuff. I wouldn't try that. Clan Iron Eye likes to keep their stuff, even but, with shinier things. I it's a. Uh, it's a matter of personal pride. Okay. 
I'm... Fair enough. They, they respect me, though, so... I can get away with some things. That's why I offer you the dagger. And, if you find anything out there that you would like to keep, of course you're welcome to it. But, uh, uh was... if you leave us anything, we'll appreciate that as well. The sacred oldest law of finders keepers. <laughs> exactly, you get it. Given what we just ran into, I'm gonna take an hour and, uh, Attune the wand. Okay. <laughs> you guys can and take I a short like rest. Start concentrating on it. <laughs> I, I would can spend I... that hour healing people. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, can I try to comfort? Like maybe. Uh... Sing a song. Get a flute. Yeah. Oh yeah, I sing lullabies. Like I used to sing to my kids when they get scared. Okay. You well, guys imagine the small hairy one. children. <laughs> Um, hairy baby. <laughs> hairy baby. Um, <laughs> you guys uh, take the time to go about this chamber and bring comfort and light into these dark dwarves' life again. Um, some are still a little jumpy. Uh, the doors rattle a few times. The side doors. The back door. All but all but the heart, at some point or another during this hour, rattles against whatever forces out there. Well, I'm gonna have to go out uh, there. Dur during during this time, at some point, um, uh, the dwarf has comes around uh, to you guys and just. By the way, my name's Skilla. Truth. Lana. All right, <laughs> Good to meet you all. It's a uh, <clears throat> shame we had to meet just... under these circumstances, but uh, better to have a common enemy. Yeah. Yeah. So I just the timing of that with uh, Greg saying his name while I was clearing my throat. Just I'm imagining like. <laughs> My character, Ragnar, is being like, oh yeah, my name is Brock! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. We're gonna have to go back now, the one thing I would warn if you go back up there is um, there are some zones on the level that are not under control of Clan Iron Eye. And, uh, they kind of just followed us in. And, uh, the Umber Hawks are no longer our problem. Mm. I kind of want to go check out the dais. Uh, oh, Jesus. You want to summon? Touch it, you... but... Not touch she it. She said anybody who goes up there, it summons. I'll stay at the bottom of the stairs and see if I can look at it from there. Okay. Like I see someone else already is. <laughs> <laughs> No, God, please. I'm at the bottom of the stairs. I'm looking up. You look up, and you can see just the bits of dwarf poking out from the uh, top of the stairs. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> if I enlarge myself, I might be able to see it. <laughs> So I would save that until you have to. We end up getting into yeah. a punch up with. We inevitably get into a punch up with the golem up there. Yeah. It sucks that he just attacks on sight. He doesn't talk to you at all. I mean, it's. I mean, goal. I can. I mean, I might be able to withstand huh? him for a minute. Huh? I, I don't really want to test that until we have a more finite plan for getting yeah. the door open. There are these other two doors here. Yeah, they go back out into the... Yeah, both of them are barred from this side. Oh, yeah, yeah. Does... Do these pillars, are they all the same they, carvings on them? They they actually are smooth stone uh, quartz pillars. They don't have Oh, there's carvings. nothing on them. Yeah. I just wanted to be fancy with the design. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything that looks like a story on the walls? Not up here. Uh. Or not down here, rather.
God of Secrets and... At least we can see the thing. We can see this. Yeah, but... I just... There's no... They, they just... They just exploded, basically. I I didn't see anything. They just they just got ripped apart. I don't know how to fight that. Fireballs, fireballs are. Fireball what? Can... It will no, but if we can somehow figure out where it's at at the moment, we can grease it, and then we can see it. Cover hey. it in grease. Yeah. Light it on fire. You're assuming it has a form. That... Right. Hmm. Okay, well... Hmm... I'm assuming because it's able to affect things. But I don't know how constant its form is. It could just willingly change. Oh, I guess you would see the tops of two ten-foot-tall statues up there. Just like their heads. Are they just it's dwarves, Similar probably. to the... Yeah, they're just the dwarves. Uh, they are seem to be outfitted in ceremonial purple and gold armor. With eyeless helms. Do I see anything like that around here? Nope. Clothing-wise? Old mm. racks of armor? No. Nothing. Truth, can I see the book Bolo gave you? Oh, sure. <laughs> Hand over the... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look while they're doing the... They're looking around at the dwarf stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll take a look in the book, see if I can find anything. I'm gonna help. <laughs> All right. Um, what are you looking for? Anything that fits that description of something? Maybe did it seem like it had hands? You said it did definitely seemed like it was whatever. Though I mean, something tore open the dwarf. Okay. Was it like a shadow, or was it like in plain sight we could see it, or was he like shadowed, ripped open? Oh, the the one dwarf? Uh, you just saw that something, like, basically he was yelling, and then his esophagus was floating in the air in front of him as something had punched through his throat. Okay. Hmm. Fun times. Invisible uh, creatures. Okay. Yeah. Make me a investigation check. Uh, with advantage, because truth is helping. Oh, uh, that would be a 23. 23. There's various talks of different creatures that have the ability to go invisible. Um, and nothing seems to match what you know. Which isn't much, mm -hmm. to be fair. <laughs> no, it's to be fair. fair. To be fair. Um, as you can see here, I have no idea what that thing is. Yeah. Yeah, me either. Um. Actually, wait a minute. She's a shield dwarf? Yep. Hold on. Let me go talk to her real quick. While you do that, I will be right back. I'm going to run to the restroom real quick. Uh. What was her name again? Skella. Skella. Aye. Isn't Dumathoin your god? Aye. So, and this room is dedicated to him, right? Yes, seems so. So why are, are you here essentially to rob this place? Isn't he your god, don't you? Hey, we're here for the heart of the mountain. Um, technically, this room here and the Heart of the Mountain belong to Dumathoin. The rest of this level belong to Malar. So are you essentially trying to get the heart for him, essentially? Like you're trying to reclaim it for him? The Heart of the Mountain is a... Um, it's an old dwarven... Folktale. Mm -hmm. uh, important piece of heritage. And it's been lost for many, many years to this, uh, to this mad mage here in the Undermountain. 
and I'd like to make sure our people get it back. And you think it's in there? Especially given the warning when we got here, yes. Malar was the last known person to have access to it. And the rest of this level is his doom. So it bears reckoning that here with the uh, Temple to Dumatoin in the center, that that room over there, she points up the up through the dais, past the dais, is probably where it's at. Especially given the protections on it. Have you found any other rooms that are similar to this one? Hey, no. I've only seen a handful of rooms myself. Um, mm. We've... I've got a few parties out, scouting around. But uh, the only thing we've noticed, uh, we, we saw the scriptorium on the way. Um, but uh, nothing of note um, unless, of course, I hear differently when another part of the reports back. But uh, we've only been down here about uh, two days. So, is it still banging at the door? No, not at the moment, no. It okay. seems to come and go. Do we... So we know one's there. You said there's probably two. Which of these other two doors do you think it's by? Which do you think is safe for us to go through? Ha. Huh. I mean, and, uh... This... You actually have... It's happened to all three doors. Oh, they're been all being resting. banged on. Yes. While the During oh. the hour that it's been, uh, like, the attunement process and all that, at least, at some point, each door has been banged on. So this thing probably either has friends or a lay of the land. Well, the only reason we uh, know there are two, at least two, is because we had two of them waylay us at once. There could be four, there could be ten. But we know there's at least two. I hate that. And at some point during our days here, two of the doors have rumbled at once. How far up the stairs can I go before yep. Rocky Boy comes out? Uh, pretty much once you step foot on off of the stairs, that's when uh, that's when the golem will come out. Off the stairs, so I can stand on the top stair. Okay. Well, have you found anything in this room that stands out that you don't know what it's for? I mean, the uh, the dice itself appeals to. Um... Oh, find a description of that. The dice itself uh, bears a, a carving uh, of a mountain with a gem at its heart. This standard depiction of Domathoin, but I believe also an allusion to the heart of the mountain itself being nearby. And uh, the doors themselves up there, uh, from what I got to look at them, anyway, um, black, read the. Uh, it is the wheel of the Keeper of Secrets under the mountain that only the hand of the king may open these doors. Let all who enter gaze upon the heart of a Melar Bold and know the true power of Droven kind. So, if the heart is not behind there, I've mistranslated something. And I will be very upset. All right, so I guess our decision here is do we head out to try to find this Dwarven King um, or do we try this Guardian right now? I don't say we try the well, Guardian until we have a hand. Yeah, my only worry is even if we kill the Guardian, it's still closed. Sure. And what if it just comes back? Then we've just wasted time. What if it just yeah. spawns another? That's fair. True. Also, truth, you can stand on the top stair, just don't step off it. Neat. <laughs> you probably had the best view. The golem is a pet ant. Um, 
up here you can see the the grizzle the, the the grizzly sight of the four dwarven corpses smashed um the dais ahead uh, made of a brilliant gold seems to shine and glitter and you can see the depiction of the mountain with a gem at its heart um mm. the two statues stand resplendent next to it pristine um and just seem to be almost uh vigilant guardians and you can see the the huge black doors in the back uh, and you can see that there is various dwarvish inscripted on them all right can i read the dwarvish from here um oh you can read dwarvish nice. i can read anything oh that's fair <laughs> Um, you can read anything. No. You can understand anything. <laughs> okay. Well. Well, hell. So, uh, where was this uh, library? I, the, um. Let's see, uh. Harold! You around? Harold. Uh, <laughs> The, the one from earlier, uh, Krumar, speaks up. Hey, uh, I think he was... He was got by the thing. Hey, I, uh, I know you were close. I'm sorry that you hear that. My condolences. Um, do you remember, Krumar, where the, uh, where the scriptorium was? Hey, um... Back from where you found us. Um... Oh. If you, there's another room, not far, uh, with more of these glowy pillars. Uh, that's actually you can find some history on the uh, king here, uh, there, rather. And um, if you go to that room and then you take a, uh, a left, that's where the scriptorium was. Um, old uh, old Ratrick was uh, man in that party. Um, he probably brought, barred the doors, I imagine. So, just let them know that Skiller sent you, and he'll let you in, I'm sure. Okay. I think that's our best bet, is to wait until it bangs on a different door and run through. Because I'm hoping it's just one bouncing around. Yeah. Because I feel like if there was multiples, they wouldn't be taking turns banging on doors. Unless they're smart enough to try to be tricking us into thinking there's only one of them. Right, and that's the other issue. I don't know their intelligence. We don't know um, literally anything about them. Yeah, they're good at quill killing dwarves. That's about all we've seen thus far. Yeah. Today's episode of Bird Box. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so... Bruh. Yeah. I mean, that's my vote, I guess. We wait for this door to not get banged on and then go through it. Back towards it. Sure. Okay. So whatever it turns, go back out. Left? Yeah, once when it bangs on, like, the door that's down here. Head to the right, back where we found them, yeah. and then to the left. Yeah. We, we might be able to tempt it. You'll want to go through... In to the glowing pillar, to the next set of glowing pillars. Then okay. you'll want to take a left. Then we'll see. Okay. 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 Got it. Say, so rattle the door ourselves. Maybe we'll uh, lure it over to that side because it'll hear us and think uh, we're coming. Right? Possibly. It's worth giving it a try. Um. How fast? <laughs> oh, you can only have one concentration spell open, can't you? Dang. Mm -hmm. I, ca I go over the doors on the right side of the room. Oh. <laughs> you. Do you have, like, thaumaturgy or something and you can, like, make fake noise? Oh. You don't actually have to... You know what? That's actually a pretty good idea. The doors uh, over here... Whoops. Uh, suddenly start to vibrate and and whatever it is is attempting to get it over here. All right, that's well, our cue. Go. We're gonna go. That's our cue. Yep. They, hey, by the way, do we have a secret password to get back in here if we need to? 
I the things don't speak, so if you just yell, we'll hear you. Fair enough. Let's go. It's <laughs> fair. Uh, and with that, they they clear the rubble out of the way, uh, and and allow you to get get by. Yeah. Did I go to the wrong door? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you did. <laughs> and they, they immediately close the door behind you. Right. <sighs> Do I see anything? No. Do you see that the doors ahead have been burst open uh, from oh, where uh, you had? To the right. Oh, I uh, oh, those. Oh, yeah, yeah. pass without a trace. I thought we were oh, sprinting. Yeah. Okay. Pass without a trace. <laughs> Maybe it'll idea. help. Yeah. We were just hoping that we were faster than them. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if you guys even stopped to look at this room. <laughs> this one? No. Uh, yeah. We didn't have time. Fair. The big Zorns are dead or gone. Yeah, remember they burrowed away. And I'm going to need uh, you to stop for just a moment. Oh, okay. I want to uh -oh. go into the ether. Uh-oh. Don't say that. Don't do uh -oh. that. You don't Why need is to the do initiative that? roster going to come up? <laughs> Why is it kind of... Oh, I see why it's got a shit. <laughs> no. uh, Ragnar, uh, you're immune to crits, right? Yep. Oh, fuck. We all are. Uh, 26 hits your AC still. Yep. <laughs> you take eight, sl eight bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Pow, right in the kiss. As something slams into you, and then a 25 also hits. Mm-hmm. God. So you take another 11 bludgeoning damage. And now I need you guys to roll initiative. Now begins the killing. Oh, I didn't use Oh, anything. come on. Well, Did I find my initiative? Okay. Uh, actions. Yeah. Am I? Oh, here it is. Yep, I knew I was looking right at it. Oh, it didn't convert over to Tailspire. That's weird. Is it? Is it? Is it being buggy? Do you have dice rolling turned on by accident? There we go. Uh, no, I just... For some reason, if you have the window not fully maximized, it doesn't... Oh, kind of yeah, it, it can't be too skinny it sometimes if it's... Yeah. Weird. My die just vanished. I saw it oh, land. Oh, you still setting initiative list. You did? I saw, I saw it land, yeah. But... Why do I have a warning it, message? It was it a, oh! You got a bug. Uh, you need to restart Tailspire. Uh, it was a 14, yeah. though. 14? Okay. So, whatever your mod total is. Uh, well, my initiative is minus one, so... Okay, 13. 13. All right, uh, 25 to 20. 25. I got a 21. 20, uh, what did you get, Truth? Seven. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> Seven. Kalana, you're up first. We don't see a goddamn thing, do we? Nope, you know it hit, uh, you know it hit Ragnar. So I cool. believe the invisible condition just means that attacking it has disadvantage. So Correct. That is you can all it still does. just shoot it, yep. even if you can't see it. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna. We're gonna try Good news that. if you hit it, hit it with an arrow, we'll know where it's at. Yeah, hopefully. Maybe. Assuming the arrow doesn't become invisible. Oh, and sorry, there was actually something else as you got hit, just before you got uh you oh. got hit, uh, Ragnar. Um. You heard a whisper in your ear. Just, you, my darling. Uh, you getting hit on by a ghost? Apparently, no, that's a him. ghost is really bad at flirting. Just <laughs> getting hit by the ghost. Okay, All right, so, so yeah. I see him get punched in the face, basically. Yep. All right, yeah, shoot to the... Uh... What direction did he... Did he go in? Like, what did it look? Which, whichever side of him it looks like it was coming from. I mean, seeing as how it did 
okay. 19 <laughs> damage to me, I'm pretty cut up on whichever direction it came from. So yeah, it looks like it was okay. over on this side. So all right, let's let's go for that. I mean, basically, in like I said, invisible actually doesn't require you to like aim at a square. It just means you attack at disadvantage. It's okay. a little weird in 5e, but I'm going to attack at disadvantage then. Um. Not liking that uh, that battle track. It's too quiet. There we go. Mm -hmm. uh, Fourteen. Fourteen. You 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 take a rough guess on where this thing is, and you let loose your arrow, and it suddenly seems to stick in the air. Roll damage. Yeah. Hey. And mine just do my damage. Put it. Hold on. It doesn't wanna it doesn't wanna do the thing. Do you have a warning in the corner, Tailspire? No. Okay. No, it's 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 on Chrome, not not Tailspire. There it is. Well, cause there's a bug going around and we can't replicate it easily, so. Oh, no. It's it's good. Oh. Aww. That's fun. Uh, you know what? Uh, fuck that. Reroll my piercer. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay. Rolled twice as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, now I've. Uh, do I still roll at disadvantage now yes. that it has? It, the arrow immediately seems to get plucked out of it. it almost, ah. almost as if it is just blown away suddenly. Yeah. Oh, 20. That's a hit. Well, and my last one. Eh. 18. Hit. This one gets the extra. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Uh, 12 again. That was great. So glad I did that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so it's 12. But yeah. Ragnar. All right. So did I have... I know it doesn't matter for invisibility for attacks, but do I have a... What, what square did the arrow stop? There? All right. I'm summoning Tashi right here so there is a burst of fire and then there's a little fiery kitty cat um dc well, i can't remember what my spell dc is i think 19? 16 16 i thought it was higher than that it's either 16 or 17 it's 17 I don't know why I thought 19. But yeah, DC 17 deck save. Nineteen. Nineteen? Alright. I believe it takes nothing. Okay, yeah, just it takes nothing on a miss. Um and on Tashi's turn. She's going to move right here. Uh huh. And then do fiery teleportation, and we are going to move back here. Okay. And another DC 17 deck save. Eighteen. Eighteen, all right. And, yep, nothing. Okay. That's it for us. You guys hear a rush of wind go past you. I'm guessing invisible doesn't provoke attacks of opportunity either, does it? Correct. You have to be able to see it. Okay. 
Brock. Went past us in what direction? It seemed to go this way. Uh, is it gone? I don't. Is that all for your turn? I guess I would have. Can you ready a spell? Like, can you hold it in the? Yeah. It, it okay, consumes will... the spell slot. Oh, okay. Uh, and you have well, to maintain guess... concentration. Okay. Now, I guess I would just have my fist ready to punch anything that hits me. Alright. Truth. I don't suppose anybody has fairy fire or something. I don't think so. Cool. Um, I uh, I got nothing. <laughs> I just turn around to face like where it went. But I mean, you could try to eldritch blast it. You just get disadvantage. I I have no idea where it even is. I I, yeah. ca I guess I could. Yeah, I'll say go it's, ahead. it's just disadvantage. I'll, wing it down wing the no down range. Yep, provided it's still in line of sight. Yeah, and uh do it again. Maybe. Uh I rolled the same thing twice. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. So <laughs> twenty. Um Alright, your now moonlight Eldritch Blast goes down the hall. Doesn't seem to hit anything. Well, I think it might be gone. I guess they fear pain. Maybe we're oh, the we first to hit back. We, we didn't see a couple arrows just like run down the hallway. No, well, they they no, immediately got flung fun. off. Oh. Can I recover the arrows? Uh, it shattered. That get broken in half. Shattered against the stone. All right. Well, I'm gonna put Tashi on my shoulder. So we should probably uh, probably keep moving. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah. All right, so a left at the pillars, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, this room, yeah. by the way. Oh. Um, oh. Let's see. Looking for all my descriptions. Uh, frescoes on the wall uh, here. Uh, chronicle the birth of a dwarven lord. Uh, beside his cribs are gathered weather-worn parents and unimpressed visitors, but below the earth a divine figure watches with great interest. As the years progress on the artwork around these walls, uh, the dwarf enters into a great struggle, first as a brewer, then as a metalsmith, and last a stone carver. It reads, The birth of Malar. Neither time nor gods can turn his glory into dust. Hmm. Is there anything in the, the room? Um, in this? Beyond seeing um, the, all the stuff How's about Malar, all the artwork on, uh, carved into the wall, that's it. Alright. Alright, well. Let's see if we can get. I still have Terulai out. Um, I'm I'm using Terralize uh, light okay. instead of my torch at this point, <laughs> and I'm just like <laughs> <laughs> as we're going along, like just listening for anything. Don't even breathe too heavy; you might slap you with it. <laughs> oh, you <geez, geez. laughs> Ragnar, you can't come up on me breathing like that. You're too oh, close. Sorry, I just got. I'm a little out of breath seeing as how I just had half my face clawed off. The beat uh, was straight ahead. He just ahead. said left, so. Oh, he did? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Open well, knock on the door, I guess. You knock. You, 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 you knock on the door. You suddenly hear the sounds of various things scrabbling on the other side. Pizza. Hello. 
It's okay. I, oh, thank fuck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, I guess knocking might not have been the best. <laughs> not this. Knocking may not be appropriate here. Uh, more scrabbling, uh, this time a lot, a lot closer to the door. Um, and uh, the door is then open, revealing a uh, scriptorium. You see oh, four uh, dark dwarves uh, standing around, and in the back, a cloaker floats up by the ceiling. I was joking. We don't actually have pizza. Sorry. He oh, quickly he quickly closes the door, and uh, and begins to hastily with a with a friend pile things back on. Uh, hail! Did the uh, skiller send you? Yes, sure did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you really shouldn't ask who. <laughs> yes. Nope, no, you shouldn't. But he did. Uh, yes, she did. I heard you run into anything out there. Sure uh, did. Point at Ragnar. <laughs> Who's like, imagine Ragnar's face just like, it's like half moon, just bruise. Is it like a wind burn on his face? <laughs> Some spicy uh, wind. K- kind of, little <laughs> little claw mark, little little wind burn. Spicy one's called a sandstorm. Oh, is it? <laughs> I thought a spicy wind was a fart, but okay. This, this is a, uh, That's oh. scented wind. This is a or spicy a, wind. Or a sneeze from someone with COVID. Or pepper spray. Oh, God. Or uh, pepper spray. <laughs> pepper spray is especially spray. spicy wind. Rarely, yeah, I can confirm that. Rarely do dwarves <laughs> commit words to paper. And so now, as you walk upon this library, you cannot help but gawk to gaze, to wonder what secrets could lurk on these countless shelves. So high do these shelves climb, sliding iron ladders are necessary to reach them. Several stand scattered about the room, as do the Duragar. I mean, saying the ladders needed to reach the books in a room full of dwarves doesn't really tell me how tall the books are. <laughs> <laughs> but also... But also... <laughs> You're short. <laughs> but also, uh, I guess I would ask one of them. <laughs> Point. Uh, have you, how have you found it? Uh, have you found anything regarding a dwarven king in here? Hey, no. Um, as he as he uh, goes over to one of the manuscripts that's still on a shelf, he goes to gingerly pick it up and as he does it just begins to crumble in his hand before he puts it back down. Oh my god. Uh, most, most of this text is um not in a fit state to open. Most Once again regretting that I didn't prepare mending. <laughs> How long does it take to do that? <laughs> I have to level up her book. <laughs> it's a cantrip, so I have to wait until I level up before I can swap one out. Oh. Oh, we uh, we found a bit of text referencing the uh, Temple of Dumathoin in the center, but uh, uh, nothing involving where Malar's tomb may be. The Temple of Dumathoin—that's my favorite Indiana Jones movie. <sighs> so, um, I would like to take a quick run. once. I would like to do a quick once around the room with my 24 passive perception. All right. <laughs> you don't see anything. Shit. Um, there are some texts laid out on the desks um, that okay. that Robert points out. Those are the few books that we've been able to uh, take off without them being too destroyed. But um, that's about it. I would assume the best ones were best preserved, so... Um, I would hope these might be important. Taking a look over them, they appear to just describe day-to-day religious observations of the priests of Dumathoin. That'll work. Is there anything in there about... rights? Make me a investigation check. In, but there you are. Oh, 
17. 17 is enough. Um, you see stuff about um, protectors and guardians um, and um, being encased in stone uh, but above ground. So some sort of tomb or beer. Um but nothing on where it could be. Uh, you do spot several notes upon things about hidden passages and chambers, mm -hmm. though. Um, you now gain an uh, advantage on ability checks to find secret doors on this level. Sweet. Nice. What are we on the secret level? Okay. The lost level. <laughs> Secret tunnel. Look, like there's supposed to be like a note section. Oh, there it is. Should we what? Attach. Gonna have to All go right. out there and explore. Oh, oh. investigation. I we were actually just about to head back and tell Skinner the bad news. Oh, uh, about this? Yeah, more or less led nowhere. Um, maybe we could see what's past the the pillars, maybe, and go back there and explore a little more outwards. I mean, it it talked about his life, so maybe there's something from there that branches out and maybe because we're looking for the tomb of Malar. You said, "Yep." Okay. Yeah, maybe. Be my guess. That or, yeah, I guess there were two other ways, weren't there? Wait. Yeah. Uh. One of you, you said you got attacked by the thing. Yeah, yeah, it kicked, it kicked the crap out of me. <laughs> it also whispered something. You, oh, my darling, right? right? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, right before it beat my face in. Yeah, hold on. Don't which room? Hold on. Is he? He's not gonna. Are they getting like? Are they gathering around him? No. Right now? No. No. Okay. Not at all. I thought uh, this was like a he's infected. Let's kill him now kind of situation. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. No. <laughs> um. Anyway. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, I was worried. I was like, no. Continue. Stop talking. Yeah, um, no, uh, old, uh, old Gramdor heard that before it attacked him, um, but he managed to somehow glance the blow, but, um, and we managed to get away at one point, but, uh, and he, um, he points over to what appears to be a bludgeoned corpse in the corner, like oh. the, the head beaten in, um, we dragged him in here uh, just after it got him, unfortunately. But um, when it first found him, we were clear on the other side by the temple. We took some twists and turns and and barred some doors, but uh, it always seemed to know where he was. Oh, good. I'm marked now. Well, you are. Wash it off. Yeah. <laughs> I cast Cure Wounds on myself. <laughs> so, uh, good luck. Well, thanks for the heads up. Do you, do you need us to lead you back? Oh, if it's after him, then we should be clear. So you want us to go out like... In front. We'll go out first and yeah. go Perf away. And Preferably. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Ragnar, you're saying in the middle of the group. Yay, I'm bait. <laughs> you're not I going mean, out in front. That'd be bait. All right, which, which, where are we going? Let's go back to the pillars and, and go from there. I think. Okay, pillars and then which direction? Uh, is uh, to the, to the left, I don't know. I said, there, there definitely seemed to be a story being told, 
but you didn't yeah you, you, you could probably t- if you take a moment you could probably discern which room the story continues in yeah i kind of want to yeah that's all true. right yeah, let's do all that. right let's head back to the door just bring it out. where's tashi on my shoulder oh she's way back there <laughs> the, yeah, the mini's just there. hanging out <laughs> yeah i was like what's that light source oh <laughs> all right it's a little mew here we go <sighs> Little socks. All right. Way through. Doors yeah, open or closed? Uh, I'll leave the punching bag in the front. Leave them open. We'll be out. Okay. Um, and it's oh, not, he's coming with us. Oh. It, no, they're, they're waiting behind. But it's not long before you guys, um, before you guys go forward, that they that they also do so. Uh, they immediately take a turn to this other room, though. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. So. Let's figure out this. Yeah. And I will teleport them all later. Okay. Um. Tell us the tales, wise one. <laughs> like it goes this way or the other way. Hold on. Stay oh. a while, and listen. Um. <laughs> Just listen here, Sonny. Uh, it definitely goes into this room next, it seems. Mm. Uh, you can already see in there uh, with your with your light um, some what appear to be display pieces. Um, more frescoes set in the walls to the north and south. Um, and three objects are displayed on stone blocks in the middle of the room, each encased oh, under glass. Uh, a fourth display... Has been the glass has been broken and whatever was there has been stolen. Oh, Are there awesome. any writing on the, the displays? Hold on, the th- <laughs> the three items uh, there uh, are what appear to be a rusty iron trowel, uh, the claw of a wyvern, and a a helm that has been split what appe- with what appears to be an axe and appears to be orcish in design. Um. The frescoes here continue to chronicle this mighty dwarf's life. In one, he works to build a bridge over raging waters. In another, he and a sun elf share tea and mead together. Others show him prospecting for ore and gems in the hills and hiding from rampaging orcs. The last shows him locked in a deadly battle with a wyvern, his war pick about to pierce the beast's skull. Okay. So we have the wyvern here, the orc there. What's the third object? Um, it, there's a rusty iron trowel, like used okay. to spread more. You know what else? That the uh, that that last one might be the um, the pretty little sun elf. Yeah, statue. that she had. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Probably. Put money on that. Yeah. Uh, are there any like doors nearby? There's uh, seems to be just a more hallway. Oh, okay. I was like, is it a sealed door with a puzzle? <laughs> okay. Definitely. Well, this might be. Uh, I, I think these items are out of order. I mean, oh. if we don't have all four, though. Do you sure. think it opens anything, though? I mean, the the tomb is for the God of Secrets, right? Well, right, but. Well, that's a very good point. Well, why would she steal it if? Because it's made Unless of gold. They were in the right order anyway. I think these are these are out of order. Do these move? Uh, they are. Gla- they appear to be under glass display cases. Um, it appears the only way to open them would be to shatter the glass. Ah. Probably not supposed to move them then. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I feel like this might even just be a museum, so to speak. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. I'm not sure. It kind of looks like a like a museum telling his... Yeah, his yeah. life story. Hey, let's discuss this when we find a door to hide behind. That's fair. What do we got next? Uh, let's see. Suddenly, things seem to jump ahead. By a great deal. Um, 
and it depicts, depicts uh, what may not be glory, but regret. A much older looking dwarven lord seems to chase Mithril through the depths, obsessed and determined to purge all infestations from Undermountain. You see, you see various depictions of him fighting Drow, Durgar, Beholders. His end does not seem to be displayed. But I'm this sorry, does what was seem that last one? his end does not seem to be displayed. No, the one before that. Uh, Beholders. Beholders. Oh, God. Um, okay. But uh, but this does seem much farther in this this king's life than the previous room. How long do dwarves live for? Uh, a lot, like nine hundred years or something. As long as elves. No, I don't think elves. Uh, but it feels like feels like there may have been some some maybe some even entire rooms missing in this story. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Three hundred. Getting fed up with this labyrinth. Uh, really getting fed up with this labyrinthine bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Let's go back towards. The... Maybe it makes a circle. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Whoop. Something. Hello. Indeed, you can see another room. Um, here, the fresco shows a older dwarven lord, though not nowhere near as old as the previous room, um, with his lady wife and children, and their children's children, all with the blood of a king. The dwarf runes in here read, Might they carry the torch with pride? long after Great King Malar has become one with the mountain. Um, resting atop a marble beer in the middle of the room is a carved stone rocking cradle. Hmm. Uh, it appears to... And it, what, it appears to hold a um, roughly two-foot-long statue of a swaddled dwarf infant sleeping soundly. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. I want to take a look at that in it, in the cradle. Okay, the statue rests there. Um, it appears to be removable. Pick up the baby. <laughs> oh boy! As you pick up the stone infant, uh, it immediately glows this bright blue light, and transforms into a crystal crown that reflects color as a prism does sparkling uh, in the torchlight what'd you do <gasps> come on what'd you do well, that's pretty cool hey remember what <laughs> happened last time you put on random headpiece? yeah let's not let's not okay. kalana puts oh, on the headpiece nothing happens shiny. i don't know why i did that what what'd no, you say nothing happens oh that's good now you can't remove it Yep, easily enough. <laughs> sorry. Hey, sorry. I hate you are so lucky. Perhaps really from lucky. now on we don't test the depth of water with both feet. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying that. Fair. All right, well, the truth. I'm sorry. Stick the crown in your um, bag and let's move on. Uh, perception oh, check no. on the room. Wrap Anything look safely. hinky? Uh, make me a perception check. Did you You're say it up... was? Huh? You're picking up bad habits from me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We've been hanging out too long. Is that what they call it? <laughs> Twenty-eight. <laughs> Twenty-eight. Um, nothing seems to be amiss. Right, this room seems pretty plain. Let's uh, move on. It 
really quick also, did you say that I had advantage on perception or investigation down here? Uh, perception to find secret doors. That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. And was that just me or everybody? Just you. Cool. So I already have advantage on perception. But mine's special. <laughs> Yours is special. <laughs> to this level. <laughs> Isn't this the second time you've gotten a thing that gave you bonuses to finding stuff? Yep. 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 <laughs> and the last time was because he cleaned an altar to do with Olaf. Millar. Um, well, it wasn't it wasn't Millar? Or not, it was, sorry, uh, not that's the king. The, also, when you keep saying Millar, is this the goblin god Millar, or is this no. a different Millar? Th this is M, M E L A I R. Okay, I'm thinking M A L A R. Yeah, no. mm -hmm. like Malar. the beast god, and I'm like, what the? F okay, yeah, Malar. Uh, I was like, why are we um, trying to find this guy? Okay. Yeah. Um, the frescoes okay. here depict the 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 dwarf earlier than the last room, older than the first two rooms. Um, discovering veins of mithril beneath the mountain. And in droves, other dwarves flock to these underhalls to crown him king. There in that hall, they offered him gifts and praise. The runes read, with mithril frowned, Malar called, forth his, called for kith and kin to share this wealth, to come to these halls, to Malarbode. They called him king, and he called them family. Um... All of the items uh, that all these pedestals have smash glass. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So I bet they took, and then that's back where we came from. Well, we passed a few uh, hallways we didn't uh, explore. And yeah. go, go back. And... Also, to recall, the one that you said having the blood of a king in them, that whole thing, his family? Yeah. Was that alluding to a certain race of dwarves being his kids, so to speak, or is it specifically one family? It appeared to be some sort of family. It, it, the thing said, all, all you know for the door is that it needs the blood of a king, or the hand of a king. Right. Mm -hmm. Um... But it seems to be that anyone who lived here, he considered family. Whether that means they are they count as part of the king line or not is a different story. Right. Um, and even if their lineage, that doesn't necessarily. Well, that's what I was trying to find. All well, right, but like if if no, it's, it's a matter of like all sub races, what's here back? Nothing. I'm sorry, Ragnar. <laughs> <laughs> and just see the thing pop up like what you doing buddy <laughs> 13 to hit miss oh I didn't even notice any of this uh, 12 to hit miss you hear miss. the rushing of wind enter the chamber um, and just basically uh, completely whiz on by I need you all to roll initiative I feel like we'd be very paranoid of that waggle my staff <laughs> in the direction just ah fuck off you bastard <laughs> Spooky You're down from there. Oh. <laughs> wow! Spooky air. Uh, Did you just zero. roll a zero? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. 25 to 20. No Brock's going last. 20. What, what'd you two get? 14. 11. Alright. Ragnar, you're first. All right. Step one. Uh, open my spell tab instead of my equipment tab. Step two, produce flame and the direction of the thing that I think okay. where it is. Oh, hey, did that trigger my sentinel? Uh, no, because I think you have to be able to see it. Okay, let me see. I would rule a creature that you have to within see it. five feet of you makes an attack against a target other than you. So, but he would have disadvantage making the sentinel attack, maybe. And that target doesn't have this feat. 
So it depends mm. on if he was within five feet. Okay. Or not. Yeah. Yeah. You would. Ha- you would make. You would make it a disadvantage though because you can't see the creature. Right. All right. All right. Oh, I forgot. That means it attacks you guys at advantage. You Let me read all those attacks. Damn it, deal. Wow, the same fucking roll. Oh, uh, a 15 to hit. Actually, it wasn't. Miss. And 14, so yeah. Okay, you're good. Oh, all I'm right. so glad flat-footed isn't in this edition. <laughs> uh, I got my sentinel attack here. Well. Why can't I pick up the dice again? It's not oh, your uh, turn. Oh, all right. Well. Well, it was that first one, then. Which was a 15, 15 to hit. Hit. It does hit? Hit. Yeah. All right. Uh, as I feel it connect, I'm going to pour an Eldritch Smite into it, but I'm going to roll a regular damage first. Okay. So 14 okay. slashing. And then I'm going to pour an Eldritch Smite into it. 20 additional damage. Fuck this thing. All right. It's Ragnar's turn still. All right. Um, so, yeah, I produce flame. Okay. Disadvantage. Yep. 14. Hit. All right. All right, 11 fire. Okay. And then Tashi has been on my shoulder this entire time. Yep. So, on her turn, everyone's in five feet of me, I believe. Yep. So I'm just going to teleport us, like, five feet away just to get us out of the fireball effect. So basically just the exact same thing, but, like, five feet. Mm Mm-hmm, exactly. So... Okay. And then I'll move Tasha right here since you probably don't want to keep us both in the same space for the rest of the combat. I'm assuming? Yeah. Alright, cool. Um, but yeah. 17 DC 17 decks. Save. Failed! Oh! I hadn't even looked. Oh well, it does barely any damage. <laughs> Damage is damage, man. Uh, I think five fire. My proficiency bonus is a... Ah, six fire. All right. That's it for us. Okay. You hear the rushing of wind leave the chamber. (laughs) Yeah, that's right. Run away. See, the only thing that ticks me off is I'm pretty certain this thing's got to be healing between encounters. If it's even the same one. That's why I was trying to kill it. Mm-hmm. With the Eldritch Smite, but apparently it's got too many hit points or not. Let's, um... A few more levels in Paladin, you'll be able to stack a uh, Paladin Smite on top of that, too. Oh, ooh. <laughs> everything. Uh, that might be the idea. <laughs> maybe. I mean, mm-hmm. You can only do one of those, too. Uh, Paladin Smite is as part of a melee weapon attack. Oh, yeah. No yeah. action. Oof. And they don't even... You can store them because it's until you actually hit something. No, those, no. that's the yeah. Smite spell. The yeah. Paladin Smite is a completely different mechanic. They're not... Oh. They aren't, aren't spells. It's just a thing you activate when you hit with a melee weapon attack. Or, sorry, an attack with a melee weapon because apparently those are different. Yeah. Melee weapon attack and attack with a melee weapon are different. Hold on, gotta pull, let, me, let me pull up in the notes for this room before you guys go in there. Well, okay. well, a, a melee weapon attack could also be an open-handed unarmed strike, whereas a, a weapon melee attack with a melee weapon has to be yeah, a weapon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no pugilism. Which, like, why didn't they just call it a melee strike and a melee yeah. weapon attack? So both the words melee and weapon have no meaning to me anymore. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Just Semantic know. satiation, man. Oh, jeez. They're just noises. Uh, here are two... It, you can immediately see two corpses of two Durgar. One male, one female. Sprawled in the room. 
Might as well see what they stole. And uh, you can also see two archways. Oh. 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 I'm going to go check these archways out. All right. The bodies. Okay. So Brock is looking at that one. Um... It's sides carved in the form of scantily clad elves, one male cool. and one female, holding cool. fingers up to their lips in a gesture of silence. Mm. Um, Ragnar, your archway up there. Uh, it is decorated with inlaid images of dancing goblins. <laughs> wow, somebody got the short end of the stick. The letter, <laughs> yeah. the letter D is carved into the arch's keystone. The letter what? D. Detroit. Redundant. All right, so basically for that one, we have to quietly strip, and for this one, we got to give a goblin the D. <laughs> <laughs> All times have I made Neil facepalm this session? <laughs> a lot. I feel like twice. I should start keeping track. Is there anything else on this? Or is it just them making the silent like motion? It's just them both making the... Okay. So there's a theory. I checked the corpse at my feet. <sighs> um, uh, these definitely both seem to have been killed by... Uh, the whatever the heck the thing has been. Uh, wearing dull gray scale armor, maybe salvageable. Um, iron shields, war picks, and javelins lie nearby. Uh, they do not appear to have any treasure. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna. How many javelins? Four. Four? Two each. Yep. Can you, you describe can use... the. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Say. So, you can use dex for a thrown weapon, right? Mm. Or does it have to be strength? I can't remember. I think you, it has to have finesse to do that, I think. Yeah, I think it has to. Yeah. I think you have to I be able to use it finesse. for the base weapon. Uh, you know, I'm probably not proficient in them anyway. Like, throwing knives can use daggers. No, no, but, I'm in. Or dex. Yeah. All right. I'm going to take the javelins because might as well. Okay. Um. I'm Could gonna you look describe that up real the quick. cobalt gate again? Uh, it's a bunch of goblins uh, dancing okay. around the archstone. Seem to be like song and dance type deal. Uh, and the letter D is carved into the archstone. Do we have to dance in front of it? Take out my flute. Okay. What do you do? D. D. Oh, the, oh. You blow out oh. on your flute. Um, hang on. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. I, I don't know about the fucking. Uh, and as you do, the yeah, gate yeah. lights up, and oh. a rune appears in the oh, center. Uh -oh. Truth, what's it say? Labos. What kind of a rune? Oh. What does it say? Labos. L-A-E-B-O-S. It appears to almost be... Uh, it kind of comes up at a point with triangles. It's actually up on stream right now. Um, but, uh, yes. Oh, wow, okay. With some diamonds. Appears to be a, a mountain, almost. Yeah. We don't know yeah. what that one does, do we? Uh-uh. So if that's an indication there. I got I don't be... know about the other one other than be yeah. quiet. Yeah. Um But if it just any... relies on being quiet, then it'd be open and just close when like people talk. Any chance I can uh do an arcana to figure out what that symbol means? Uh sure. Um Arcana or history. Also... Mm -hmm. Say, uh, Brock, you're also trained in Arcana, right? No, I just know Dwarven runes. Oh. Okay, well, never mind then. Eighteen. 
It's definitely nothing specific magical wise, but you do recognize it. It does sound familiar. <clears throat> but you can't quite place it. Comprehend languages? Labos. Uh, yeah. Mm. Right, well, we should probably come back to this. And after about a minute, it fades. And the gate closes. So it's just them doing this? Yep. The elves? Yep. Can can I just make that gesture? Okay. You, you... Nothing happens. Say shush while I have my finger there? Nothing. Oh, okay. I was hoping. Hmm. Should an elf try? Yeah, maybe. Uh, I'll try to go up and... I mean, there Nothing. is one other thing about the elves in that picture that you're not doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not! <laughs> I mean, I volunteer, but there's an invisible, punchy, uh... <laughs> invisible, punchy, abusive ex-girlfriends floating around, and I don't really want to fuck with it right now. Yeah. I don't know if, uh... I, I could see Truth kind of holding back and laugh there. I'm you? like, <laughs> I could see Truth kind of holding back and laugh. I'm like, I need to say it, don't I? <laughs> Not... Do you, you really to? think me getting undressed would? No, 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 no. Okay, that's thank not... you. No, I just. It was I mean, invisible. Suddenly, there's second. a whoosh. Rip your guts out. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, 19 hit. Ah, fucking bastard. Nine <laughs> bludgeoning. Chat. <laughs> it's a Yondere wind. And then definitely higher hit. So I got like a 23. Uh, Another 10 bludgeoning. My God. Tough. And I need initiative rolls. Oh, we're down for a zero. Let's see. Hey. My close. initiative just gets worse and worse each round. <laughs> this is this thing gets, this Ragnar gets more and more concussed from this thing battering him in the skull. <laughs> we're trying. Um, hold on, I actually need to apply this just so I can open the session history again, because apparently if you're editing, it doesn't want to show up. Um, all right, 25 to 20. Okay, I see, I see 18, 14, 14, and 4. Does that yep. sound right? Yep. Okay. Uh, 4, yep. I got... I know, I got 15. I roll with advantage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. By the way, is there a way to use the plug-in to roll with advantage? No, but you if you pick, pick up, up the dice those. again, it will roll with the same number on it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So... Yeah, that's what I've been doing is I just re-pick up the same dice I just threw and just roll it again. <laughs> yeah, because I've got like 15 things I have advantage on because the magic items. So. Yeah, there, there's a way to do it with the... There's a way to do it with the URLs, but the plugin does not do it yet. Well, McCabe says they'll get around to it, so... Yep. <laughs> Cross that bridge when we get there. All right, wow, that didn't... Sorry, we'll burn that bridge when we get there. basically didn't change the initiative oh. order. It's still Ragnar first... <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Um, I guess your Sitna would go off, since we ruled that. Oh, yeah. Oh, is it within five feet of me? Yep. Okay, well. See if you can hit it. Disadvantage. With disadvantage. Well, well, 15. Hopefully I won't roll worse than that. Oh, it's because oh, it's not wait, your turn. It's, it's not my turn, that's why. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Again, and... Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Well, right, it's still a hit. At least two and a half hours in. Oh, not the first nat 20. Is it not? I rolled one. No, he landed one. Oh, well, yours don't count. <laughs> the first provable <laughs> nat 20. The numbers on the die, they don't count. Let's do a 17 damage. All right. <clears throat> that it? 
Yeah, I don't know if it's okay. healing between, so I might be wasting the Eldritch Smites. Okay. Trying to... Ragnar. I mean, I would say do the Smite because I guess it's too late now, but at some point I'm going to be concussed to the point where we have to take a sit down in a blocked off room and you'll get your spell slots back. So. Um, unfortunately, I can't teleport because I'm pretty certain. Well, I mean. Actually, yeah, okay. Because the, the teleport is only people within five feet. But the explosion is ten feet. <laughs> that's why I'm kind of and then fireball is 20 oh, no, it is within 5 feet never mind yeah. so um... just point the wand down <laughs> I'm taking they you actually... out with me alright Ragnar um, produce flame just you know my sort of go to um Mm. <laughs> mm. Not happy about that. It's still an 18. That's a hit. Alright. Well, that's pretty good. 12 fire. 12 fire. Your fire... You bring forth your produce flame and lob it in the rough direction you were hit from. And it seems to almost get caught in this almost fiery tornado of wind that just suddenly dissipates. Uh, great, it's probably freaking resistant to fire damage. All right. We got a rough idea of where this fucker is. I think you killed it. Yeah, I think it's dead. You think so? I mean, that didn't do that last time you hit it with fire. Yeah. I'm... Nothing's there. <laughs> Flail wildly. I take a step forward. Nothing. I just basically got my stick. Just did we kill it? It's hard to tell without a body. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll fair. see if it comes back or not. I guess. Do I you guess need if I any get healing? knocked over the skull again. So new theory. I mean, is this maybe not a gate but a hint? What? Maybe the Guardians just listen. Maybe they're blind. It definitely has all the same markings of all the other gates you've come across. Except for, oh, you know, okay, the, so it's the, not... Except for the, you know, okay. it looks different in terms of what it's made of. But, okay. Ragnar, do you need healing? Uh, yeah, I could use a little bit, but... Okay. Well, at least do, you know, a cure wounds on him. All right. All right, so do we really think the thing is dead? I have a little bit of hope, yes. All right, yeah. look away. Uh, All right, drop my pants. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Nothing happens. I thought you were just going to, like, start peeing where it died, and I was like, uh... okay, anyway. <laughs> it was worth a shot. By the way, how about how long has it been since our first encounter? Uh, about maybe 30 minutes. Okay. Maybe 40. That's the only last an hour before I have to resummon her. So. Alright, onward. Oh, hey, what? There we go. I like when the wall is weird. Huh? We may have killed it. We may have just convinced it to fuck off. Maybe. Maybe. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, so you, go. you can see some faint blue light coming from the 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 room down here. More of the That's pillars. Promising. Okay. Man, I love D and D five E's hallway of the mad mage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you 
nope, see another no arch archway. Um, hold on, let me. Uh, a description here. This... Oh, over there. Okay. Okay, they don't have it in this booklet, so I gotta go over to this thing. Um. The uh, cavern, the ceiling in here is 20 foot high vaulted chamber carved out of solid rock. Um, in front of the arch sit two corpses of Duragar. Another of the scouting party. This, these ones seem fresh. Um, <laughs> pretty much right where he is, yes. Um, protruding from the south, from the south, from the far wall is an organ whose pipes are carved out of stalagmites. Its bench and keys are made of polished gold and black marble. Two large carp copper kettle drums stand against one of, the, one of the other walls. Resting atop them is a shiny brass tuba. <laughs> um, the archway embedded here uh, has a hand-shaped indentation with a sigil, which you... Pretty much all immediately recognize, uh, just given your a bit capabilities, uh, to represent magic. Just a generic m symbol that represents magic as a whole, uh, inscribed in the palm. Of the, the so yeah, it's like an in palm shaped indentation in the keystone. Where's the tuba? The tuba is the 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 spyglass thing. <laughs> That's uh, a big ass tuba. Yeah. Can one of you do the fancy ghosty hand thing? Um, Mage hand? Yeah, maybe it needs to touch it with that. I would say this bulky instrument is missing is missing its mouthpiece. It's all right. You don't need a mouthpiece if you know how to do a proper ombrature. <laughs> that would hurt. Yeah. Yeah, it tuba would. Without a fucking mouthpiece, jeez. That would definitely hurt. Yes. <laughs> uh, actually, I don't know that. I never played brass. It's, uh, if you want to rip oh, yeah. your mouth apart, that's the way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't do it. Yeah. If you, yeah, if you can't, you can't play. Yeah. Um, I was a percussion guy. These two Durgar do seem to have uh, what appear to be like loot sacks. Yeah. I'm gonna check to see if any of them have a mouthpiece. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, you find a silver figure of an ox. A tiny mithril bell. And a, a, a pewter flagon sculpted in the shape of, an, of a gold dragon with amethysts for its eyes. Damn. And that was in one sack. I in probably the, should be writing this shit down, shouldn't it, I? It, it yeah. looks like Caroline's handling it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> plus, she'll watch the episode again. Uh, in the the other sack contains a small trapezoidal mirror set in an onyx frame and a leather eye patch with a bloodstone sewn into it. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of curious about that one. Yeah, I like that one. That one's neat. Yeah, I kind of wanted to see if I can identify that guy eventually. Do we want to do a magic right, to well. see which of these are magical? Do we have a detect magic yeah. stick? What do we do? Ping! The Just gate for is magical. To... Oh, just the none, gate. The, none of these items are? The organ is magical. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> are you eager to play the organ? No, not one. <laughs> yeah, see, so after one, last running we had with a piano, one damn bit. <laughs> uh. Uh. Well, hey, I guess uh, if we ever need to barter with Jarlaxle, maybe we can give him the fancy eye patch. Yeah, maybe. Well, that'd be a nice gift. I went after the guy gave us a giant box of money last time we saw him. <laughs> okay, yep. yeah, but like, yeah. He's complicated. But at the cost of orphans getting off the streets. <laughs> 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 Look, he's done good shit. 
he has. He's got, you know, the whole free the dark elves. It's a nice sentiment, you know. I mean, it's a good. It's not a sentiment. It's a good fucking idea. Like, it's just, yeah. Like, all right. I just I don't put... like that he lied to us. It just started out on a lie, and that just left a bad taste in the mouth. That's that's the main point. I uh, put of... my hand in the thing. It's it's pretty high up there. Oh, it's, it's at the arch. It's at the key, like the keystone of the archway. Yeah, I would just use I'd just use mage hand on it personally. Do you have mage hand? I thought you did. I don't have mage he hand. Does I'm not a mage. <laughs> oh, he does. <laughs> Yo. <clears throat> Is Truth going to cast Mage Hand on it? Sure. <laughs> As you do, it lights up. And the rune Angris uh, appears. We do we recognize that one? You do not. Uh oh. Yeah, it looks new. Once again, you could attempt uh, Arcana or History check to see if you know where anything about these runes. Uh, Can we all Angris. attempt? Uh, if you're trained in History or Arcana. Nope. nope. I'm not. I'm going to use my Arcana training. Boink! 21. Nope. Still, oh, still, man. still feels familiar. But you can't place it. Oh, man. Oof. Next time up to the surface, I'm getting a frickin'. I'm going to the frickin' library. <laughs> it's a great place to shit up. It's a, it's a great library and, in Waterdeep. Uh, <laughs> since it looks like you guys are walking away after about a minute, it fades out. Okay. So, We're one just, more room? We're not gonna fuck with the orc, yeah. are we? Okay. <laughs> I'm not. Gonna. Unless you want to. Nope. Um, I don't have the diamonds for look, restoration. Last right time now. that we played an uh, instrument down here, but bony fingers. Yeah, spooky hands. <laughs> spooky hands. Pass. <laughs> Pass on that happening again. What's to the right over here? I wonder. Can go that way. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's go this way first. Yeah, because the other way probably leads us back to. Uh, yeah. I feel like going straight's better for us this time. Hold on. Uh, oh. oh. Brock? Oh. Yeah. You here. Yo. You, my darling. Okay, wind! <laughs> <laughs> as you literally Seriously, walked... like some wind chimes in this place. As you Damn. literally walked into it. <laughs> oh. Um... Well, he's probably better, honestly. He's got it's the true. highest AC. It's true. He's, he is <laughs> yeah. the most likely to not be I'm hit. I'm kind of sad it hasn't been attacking me. Um, so let's roll them attacks. Yep, Twenty-four to hit. Oh. Oh. Uh... Shield. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then twenty-two, which would be less. So. You can feel it as soon as you start to feel this rushing of wind, and you immediately, instinctively cast shield, and it just bludgeons against this magical barrier that has erupted around you. Uh, I need everyone to roll initiative. And that'll be the closest thing to an attack I'll get on any of these guys. <laughs> uh, what? There it is. Oh, all right, well. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> Actually get to do stuff now. What are spells? <laughs> all right. Um, 25 to 20. 20. Uh, shit, you asked me too fast. Uh, 19, sorry, yeah, go. <laughs> okay, well, you're 19. And then yep. I see a 13 and an 11. Ragnar! Who the fuck it? Oh, that was a big surprise. Alright, so... I'm going to assume... Because I was sort of like right there, so I'm like actually in this square. Yeah. Alright. This is going to sound familiar. <clears throat> Control flame. <laughs> 
Hey. Ironically, 22. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a hit. Don't forget, you can do extra damage with Tashio. Oh, I've been completely forgetting about that. Ah, crap. All right, so... Ugh. Eight okay. fire. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Brock, you want to go poof? Uh, sure. All right. I'm going to teleport us all five feet back. <laughs> all right. Deck save. Yep. Eleven. All right. It takes a whopping ba ba da ba. Oh wow! I rolled max. Ten fire. All right. Brock. I think we should just start using non-attack based rolls. So. I mean, AOE fest is what got us through those cloakers. Yeah. <laughs> AOE Fest 2021. Yeah, I'm going to try casting... Uh... Eh, fuck it, I get two swings. I'm just going to punch at it. <sighs> I don't know if I want to waste my spell slots on this guy. I was going to say, from there? I don't... Yeah, from... Well, I, I, you said I walked into him earlier, which tells me that he's... But can I move? He's right here, yeah. I assume. I mean, I, I guess I'll move one forward if I can, if I don't bump into something. You do not. Okay. And I'll just walk up swinging. So, where are we at here? Bam. Do this guy, and... So, it's either a 24, or... You can just pick up that same dice again. That's right. I knew there was a way to do this. Or a 16. That's a hit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, finally. 13 thunder... Okay. Okay. And then I will swing at him again. With either a 21 or a 17. Hit. Aw. Oh, 7. Alright. And then, yeah, I guess I'll just kind of stand there and hope no one comes out for me. Truth. Hmm. See the kerfuffle down the hallway. Yep. You can... Oh shit! Oh, oh really Jesus! Like, you were <laughs> way back there. Wasn't paying attention. Thirty. Uh, I guess I'll uh, Eldritch Blast. Okay. Well, we got uh, complacent because we thought we killed it. Maybe we did. Maybe there's another. Yeah. Mhm. Mm oh, disadvantage. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Hey, twenty to hit. That's a hit. Oh, uh, not Terrorline. That'll do blast. <laughs> Four damage. <laughs> Oof. And then uh, second attack. Don't. Don't your blast deal two d ten? And uh. Or is it a no? d ten per ray? It's a d ten per ray. Ah. Uh, so fourteen on that second one. That's a hit. Okay, I just rolled really badly for damage. And an 8 <laughs> on the second one. But that's it. Alright. Um... Kalana. <laughs> uh, we'll try sharpshooter for, for giggles. Um, With disadvantage? <laughs> maybe. No. Okay. Yeah, that's a dumb idea. Well. Your arrow goes completely wide of the spot you remember it being in from when Brock was hitting it. Mm. Try one more time. 
17. You feel you should have hit something by now. There's nothing there. All right, it's gone. There you go. Oh, did the rushing wind happen? Oh. Nope. <laughs> this seems to be gone, but it didn't wash by you. Oh, it went ahead of us, probably. So that means it went this way. <laughs> You ain't getting away from me, you spooky bitch. Brock and Ragnar just power walking oh, okay. while cracking every knuckle on their body. Grab my two little arrows. <laughs> Wait. Pop, 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 pop. I know you're in here. Oh, you we're gonna get bitch. you, you wooshy bastard. Oh, okay, we'll yeah. consider that your guys' turns. Oh. 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 <laughs> I didn't realize you were gonna try to give chase. So. I didn't really either, to be honest. <laughs> If we leave it alone, it's just going to come back and try to bonus. Exactly. It had a chance to leave this one. To leave went this alone and live. It ran the direction we were already heading, so that was its own fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a miss. Alright, second attack. 21 to hit, Brock. No. Miss. Kalana. Uh, try again. Eighteen. Eighteen. That is a hit. Your arrow sinks into something. Hey. Hey, I did a thing. Oh boy. Eight piercing. Hmm. Thirteen. Mm. Miss. Yeah. I was gonna say even at minimum values, your attack and damage rolls are still pretty good. <laughs> Ragnar. <clears throat> um. It's like I really don't want to burn any bigger spells. Yeah, I'm just... Um... Produce flame. Well, forgot. Disadvantage. 18. 18 is a hit. Alright. 7 fire. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta, I gotta get this. Um, what? Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Found you. Huh? Ah. Oh. Hello. You caught the die. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that the photo I mean, for the match? Sorry. So we're just gonna go ahead and cast, uh, you know, firewall on that square just completely <laughs> randomly for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> um, but no, uh, Tashi does flame seed. Okay, disadvantage. That might be the episode, like. Yeah, thing. I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the thumbnail. Oh gosh, Tashi, what did you just get? Like a six? I was just got an eight to hit. Yeah, so Tashi rolled an eight to hit. Oh no. Okay, yeah, no. Rock. Uh, yeah. Swing a swing. Swing a dang a doodah. Where is it at? There it is. Whip. Swing. Uh, what? And. A little. Not. <laughs> well. <laughs> Miss. Yeah. Try that again. Wrong guy. There it is. Alright, so a 15 or a. Ah! Oh, okay. <laughs> so a 24. That's a hit. Was the lowest. Yeah. Darn. Whip. Yeah. Eight thunder. And he must attack me. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot I the web right. gauntlets. Whack. 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 Truth. <laughs> uh. <yeah. laughs> I was off grid. Uh, I'm going to swing with Terror Lash. And. 
19. Hit. Twelve. Okay. And oh, well, that's and gonna 12. be a miss. Uh, okay. Because you can't roll worse than a natural one. <laughs> yep. All right. Well. Oh, okay. I was literally about to ask. So when you move the stalker, will the die fall? <laughs> yes. Uh. Hmm. 22 to hit. On me? Yep. Match. So, 60s. Damage. You get to hurt Brock for the first time in ever. <laughs> uh, eight bludgeoning. I was really hoping you were going to roll two. Okay. <laughs> so, eight bludgeoning, so I ignore three. <laughs> Take five temporary HP, yeah. and then and then a twenty three to hit. Yep. Fucking five bludgeoning. Jesus shit. So Rolled minimum I damage. Down, I am down to two temporary HP. <laughs> Fucking Christ. <laughs> I have seventy nine health at my best. <laughs> Come on. Uh. See. I just <laughs> think the best part about this entire session is the fact that literally last session, I remember. Your eye have been like, use the attack, right click attack when you're attacking. Yeah, things. and now it's, it's been invisible the entire time. <laughs> Threw an invisible it's enemy. Like, oh, guess what? We're not doing. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like, you, I mean, you literally can't, but you also can't tell me what you attack this time, so there's no reason to hit tab anyway. Uh, yep. True. Right. I just want to make sure I'm in the room. Um, and, uh, yeah, hit where Brock was, where Brock was getting hit. From. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Fifteen. Uh, Hit. Why? Oh. Eight. <laughs> No. And then I miss. Alright. Ragnar. I'm going to do something really original, guys. Mm. I'm going to cast Control Flame. <gasps> what? Oh, God. Three times. It's three times now I've rolled a nat 20 during disadvantage against one of these things. Anyway, 23... Truth has inspiration. Um, okay, that's a hit. The truth already had inspiration. I don't think so. I don't think he did. Yeah. 11 think fire. Are. And once again, in a very similar display of fire, uh, it goes up in a tornado and the rushing sound of wind stops. Hey. Tell your friends. He's already dead. He can't. Uh. Unless oh, it just teleported shot. away. Around you sits a despoiled gallery. Uh, what, with what appears to be lots of smashed relics. Uh, sorry, let me change the audio there before I forget. Um, including um, statues atop stone, uh, statu smashed statues atop pedestals, stone tablets on easels, elaborate dioramas on tables. All that remains is broken stone. And you guys, Ragnar, with your passive perception. Because um, I assume you're not actually, you know, zooping, zip zop, zoopity bopping around the room like that. <laughs> That's um, not me. I know, but I mean in general, because this applies. Um, you guys immediately notice that there is something off with this wall. And that is where we're going to go ahead and end the session for tonight. Oh, All right. Hey. Yeah. Ha. Oh. Huh. Yes, I, um,. Oh. I tailored this level to be a little more horror themed with the uh, the Notice. invisible stalkers. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thank you all for showing up. We're gonna go ahead and announce our winner of the giveaway here in just a moment. 
Um, as a general reminder for everybody here in the chat that is brand new, um, I will tell that in a minute, a Spartan. Um, as a, a brand new here uh, thing here, we all of our VODs are on YouTube. Uh, if you like, uh, we are out of alignment. This is where we do D and D streams. And if you like uh, what we do uh, and want to chat with us, and hang out, you can come to our Discord server as well. Um, and yes, Spartan Celestial Air is a brand new t point redeem for twenty five thousand channel points, where I will just gift you a copy of Stale Spire on Steam. Simple as that. Is that is that limited to viewers only? It is limit. I mean, I don't think it's limited. You to already have a copy. <laughs> I have friends. Uh, I'll say it, it is not. How dare but, you assume you're my only friends? It, it is not. <laughs> uh, however, only one copy can be redeemed per stream. So if oh, someone else, it. if someone else beats that, that's, then that's fine. I just don't know what else to do with my thirty thousand points. Yeah, fair. Um, so let's go ahead and close that giveaway here, and then let's go ahead and um, see who we got. We got a lot of entries today, so let's see. I tried to throw fireball. In the the winner is Spartan Celestia, who hey, I believe you are hey, still here. Hey. Kick you. Uh, so uh, I will go ahead and whisper you a your Steam key momentarily after we get down here with the stream. Uh, thank you all for showing up. Uh, we still got five more keys to give away. So our next five out of alignment sessions, out of alignment sessions only. I stream on other days. They will not have giveaways. Uh, there will be more keys to give away. So, although the Tailspire, I buy you Tailspire Redeem, that's just going to be on my channel from now. So if you really want to spend your channel points, catch me streaming another day, I'll buy you Tailspire. Cool. So we'll see everybody on this channel next week. Uh, the, what, the, what's that make it? The 2nd? Second? The 2nd. Second. Second of May at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Until then, everybody, have a good time. Bye-bye.